120mm fans up top or four out front. There is an additional vertical mounting location which can house up to two 120mm fans or even a distro plate. You can fit up to a 480mm radiator along the front and up to a 360mm radiator along the top or on the vertical mount. This case has a highly modular design, meaning you can install your case's components when and as you need them. The AHT600 has modular panels, racks, brackets and pre-designed mounting arrays. There is even support for vertical GPU mounting. The case also comes with handy Velcro tie-down points to make cable management a breeze. Storage-wise, you can fit up to two HDDs and three SSDs. On top of this, your storage is very modular and you can switch and change their mounting locations as per your requirements. Your front I.O. panel comes with two USB 3.0 and one USB 2.0 ports. It also comes with a handy Type-C port or in an easy to access location. So if you're after a case that will stand out in a major way as well as show off all your building skills, this is the perfect case for you. The AHT600 combines a stunning, unique look with a dismantleable, modular design that will ensure even the most ambitious builds can be pulled off with style. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, remember to give us a like and leave any comments or thoughts you may have in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and ding the bell to be notified each and every time we upload. And while you're still around, check out any of these demo take videos that may be around me in some location. I don't know, it changes all the time. And we'll see you in the next one. Do you have to video call in for a business meeting at 3 but then have to be in a League of Legends tournament at 4? Then you need a gaming chair that doesn't look like a gaming chair. And boy do we have the chair for you. Hi there, I'm Sarah from Thermaltake Australia and this is the Thermaltake Cyberchair E500. Sophisticated style and ergonomic comfort for work and for play. The Cyberchair is an ergonomic chair utilising high tension permeable mesh cushioning. This mesh is elastic, soft to touch and breathable, providing comfort and style. It has a sturdy aluminium frame as well as stable feet made of aluminium alloy. Its wheels are scratch resistant, making this chair suitable for both soft and hard floors. The Cyberchair goes above and beyond in terms of adjustability. Using the easy to control levers, you can adjust everything from seat height to tilt, seat depth and your armrests, allowing you to move both rests up and down as well as any angle to ensure your armrests sit at the optimal place for you. <laughs> your backrest provides extensive back angle support, ranging from 90 degrees all the way to 117 degrees. You can also adjust your headrest, ensuring you have optimal neck support also. With a maximum load of 150 kilograms and a max height of around 127 centimeters, this chair has options to fit each and every user. <laughs> Coming with both specifically designed ergonomic lumbar and waist support, the cyber chair has your body's comfort covered. On top of this, installation is surprisingly easy with only four easy steps, and it took us less than 10 minutes to put it all together. So if your standard office chair is causing you more harm than good, but a gaming chair just isn't the look you want, then the cyber chair is your perfect solution. Combining a sophisticated look and the ergonomic comfort of a gaming chair, your back will thank you. And you'll look good too. Yes, yeah, sweet, so I'll send you that email in a bit. What are you doing? Run, 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 run. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, remember to leave us a like and comment any thoughts or questions you may have in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and ding the bell to be notified each and every time we upload. And while you're still here, check out one of these awesome thermal take videos floating in the air above me. We'll see you in the next one.
Do you want to downsize from a big, bulky, full tower case? Or maybe you want a system dedicated to a VR setup? Or to be part of your entertainment center? Well then, it sounds like you need a sleek, stylish micro case, and we have the perfect case for you. Hi there, I'm Sarah from Thermal Tech Australia, and this is the gorgeous, compact S100 micro tower case. Constructed with modern steel, the S100 is the pinnacle of sophisticated elegance when it comes to micro case design. The case is 411 millimeters high, 220 millimeters wide, and 441 millimeters deep. Due to its compact size, this is an incredibly versatile case, able to fit in all sorts of setups, even if they're cramped. Coming in both a sleek black and snowy white edition, this case can effortlessly look good anywhere, whether it's in a professional office space or even in the entertainment center in your living room. There is one 4mm thick tempered glass hinge door located on the left side of the case. This type of glass is more durable and scratch resistant than standard acrylic and gives you a stunning view of all your components. The case comes with a single pre-installed 120mm standard rear fan. Due to its micro size, this case only supports up to an MATX board, but that doesn't mean you have to skip out on hardware. This case is incredibly easy to run all sorts of different configurations inside, whether you want to build with a fancy AIO or just run your standard stock air cooler. You can run a CPU cooler with a max height of 165mm and a graphics card of up to 313mm in length. Additionally, you can also mount up to two 140mm fans and even one 200mm fan at the top of the case. You can also fit a radiator of up to 280mm at both the front or top of the case. The S100 features a built-in ventilated PSU shroud, aiding you with airflow as well as giving you a handy place to hide all your cables. On top of this, the S100 supports standard power supplies, so no need to worry about buying an SFX power supply. It also comes with a magnetic fan filter on the top of the case and additional filtration at the bottom to protect against dirt and dust. There is a handy drive bay tucked in under your PSU shroud, which can fit two hard drives or two SSDs. This bay can also be moved to fit your needs, such as if you're needing extra space for a fan. There are two mounting locations for your SSDs at the back of the case, which can also be moved around to the front if you need more space out back or if you just want to show them off. Lastly, your front I.O. port comes with one USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0 ports, all in easy to access locations. So if a full tower case just isn't for you, but you're over your gaming laptop not being able to run graphically intensive games, then building your dream PC in the S100 is a great solution. Combining a sophisticated, elegant style with a compact, versatile size, you are sure to have the perfect setup for gaming, office work, and everything else in between. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, remember to leave us a like and pop any comments or questions you have in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and ding the bell to be notified each and every time we upload. And while you're still here, check out any of these then we'll take videos floating around me and we'll see you in the next one. Are you after a low maintenance case that also looks sleek and sophisticated? A case that will look good not just today, but also in future, and provide you with the space to upgrade your components as you want to? Well, our new case has all of this and more. Hi there, I'm Sarah from Thermaltake Australia, and this is the Thermaltake V250 ARGB Mid Tower Case, the newest member of our V series of cases. The V250 is 230mm high, 216.5mm wide, and 477mm deep. This makes the case relatively compact in size, so it will fit on smaller desks and tighter spaces with ease. It has a 4mm thick tempered glass panel on the leftmost side of the case, as well as an acrylic front panel that provides the perfect way to show off the gorgeous pre-installed front fan.
Hello and welcome. Welcome to 2020 Thermotech Expo June. And this is our very first revolutionary virtual exhibition. As you may know already, each year Thermotech uh, delivers new products and software to you. And this year, we bring you the whole new form of communication by going virtual. So this allows everyone to um, safely visit from the comfort of your homes. So you are definitely most welcome to join with us. And from today to 4th of June, uh, via live stream broadcast on the uh, Thermotech Facebook page and also on Thermotech global YouTube channel, we will be presenting new products launches. Yeah, we are so excited. And of course, uh, continuous innovation has always been the core view of Thermotech. So I know we have received so many numerous prestigious design awards and now that's time uh, take a few seconds to look at the most recent design awards marketing idea is game with your TT mod. I know Thermotech is perfect and is so suitable for all the gamers, modders and the PC DIY enthusiasts. And now it's time to invite the real expert to explain more. And now ladies and gentlemen, definitely it's our honor to have uh, the founder, the chairman and CEO, Mr. Kenny Ling. Woohoo! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, world. Good morning, Euro. Good afternoon in Asia. Good evening in the USA. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Stay with us. This year, we are hosting a very special event, 2020 Thermotech Virtual Expo from June 2 to the June 4. So thank you for staying with us. So now I'm going to uh, start my speech to everyone. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2020 Thermotech Expo June, the Thermotech's first revolutionary virtual exhibition. Today, my team and I am excited to show you the newest PC DIY case mall and gaming solution. But before we go along, I want to address the current COVID-19 global health crisis. Currently, we are going through a very challenging time since the COVID-19 outbreak travel registration, social distancing, and many other health and safety measures have impacted our daily life. To respond to this, Thermote decided to innovate the way we connect with our core audience, the gamers, modders, and PC DIY in Susia. So, this year, we decided to hold our first uh, virtual exhibition. The 2020 Thermotech Expo June, the virtual exhibition, allowed attendants to visit from the safety and comfort to their home from June 2 and June 4. Users can go to the Thermotech Global YouTube channel and also the Thermotech Facebook page to watch the live stream broadcast. 
New products will be unveiled each day. So stay till the end to see the complete product launch. Each day, you can join our scheduled virtual exhibition tours and participate in our live giveaway. So please turn into the Thermotech Global YouTube channel and Thermotech Facebook page for the latest activities. This year, new marketing idea is game with your TT mode. Game with your TT mode. Samote has always been a brand designed for both gamer and modder. Since 2016, we first introduced the concept game with your mode. Combining gaming with the modding, Samote has a diverse range of products from the case, power, cooler, and a gaming gear. Whatever you are an entry-level user on the budget, our Ahako Insusia, Thermotech has got you covered. Using the Thermotech product, you can easily build your own case mode and gaming rig, and game with your TT mode. And this year, we are ready with several innovation new products. In our case lineup, we have seven new chassis from the Tower 100 AH200 Divider 300 Versa Series and V150 Core PA and DistroCase 350P. These are the seven new chassis we are going to launch this time. For the power supply, we have six new models from the Titanium Tough One TF1 1550W and also the Platinum Tough Power PF1 from the 650W to 850W. And also we have the, the RGB Gold ARGB Power Supply from the 650 to 851. And also for the small form factor power, XFS Power, we are going to launch the Tough Power, XFX 650, 550, and 450 watt. And also the semi module bronze, we are going to launch the Smart BM2 750 watt, and also 650 and 550 watts. So in the cooling category, we have a total of 12 new products. In the fan section, we have the ring core and the ring trio. Now it's the supporting on the new own makers. Also, non-RGB fan, we are going to introduce the latest fan, top fan 12, the top fan 12. And also the budget fan, we are going to introduce the pure dual and pure A12 and A14. For the DIY liquid cooling, uh, we're going to launch the Pacific W7 MX1 CPU water block. Those are come with the RGB function and the ARGB think at. And also, we are going to launch the Pacific PR32 D5 pump and reservoir tank. And for the thermal grease, this time we are going to launch the TG30 and the TG50, two type of the thermal grease. For the AIO cooling range, uh, the Flow DX now is supporting the Neon Maker software. And also, earlier of this year, we just launched the budget AIO, the TH120 240. Today, we are going to introduce the TH360 ARGB AIO. And Flow RC240 360 DPU and the memory AIO liquid cooler. This is the world first integrated CPU and the memory AIO liquid cooling design. And it is also exclusively supporting the new thermal tape memory, top RC, RC. So for the memory, we have both high capacity and high frequency memory. In the high capacity category, we have the top RGB 3200 to the 400 uh, to the 1400 megahertz 16G by two. And for the top RGB 3200, to the 3600 megahertz, we have the 32G by two. So for the high frequency memory, we have the top frame RGB 4600 megahertz, 8G by two. Also, we have a memory designed for liquid cooling. That is the top frame RC from 3200 to 4400 megahertz, 8G by two, which is supported by the flow RC RC240, 60 CPU and memory AIO liquid cooler. 
And in the TT Gaming Station, we have a three completely new series. The Arjun K5 keyboard, also the Arjun M5 mouse, wire and wireless, Arjun MB1 mouse plunging, and Arjun MB1 mouse pad. Also, we have an Arjun H5 headset and HS1 headset stand. And also the latest, the Hachui Miku series design. With our new software, we have the Neon Maker Lighting Editing software now compatible with even more products. And also the SPN 2.0 Smart Power Management Platform 2.0. We have around 50 new products ready to show you our new product launch are spreading out each day from June 2 to June 6. So please tune in to the Thermotech Global YouTube channel and the Facebook page. Today, there are three state-of-the-art Thermotech products I want to introduce to you all. The first one is the Tau 100. The Tau 100 is the Thermotech first Vertical Mini ITS Tower Chassis, available in black and white edition. The Tower 100 is the newest addition to the award winning the Tower Case series. And the Tower 100 is made with a streaming light panel design and three 4mm tempered glass window. Excellent for showcasing and the tour free design allow for user easy to installation and the dual chamber structure is a great for smooth airflow and AIO liquid cooling. Also, small in size, and the tower 100 had it all. The next one I'm going to introduce the, it is the our high capacity and high frequency memory modules, the Tuffren ARGB DDR4 memory series, available in black and white vision. The Tuffren RGB series is compatible with Intel Z490 and AMD X550 chipset and Intel XMP 2.0 ready. Our high capacity memory, the top frame RGB 3200 to 4000 MHz, 16 GB by 2, and the top frame RGB 3200 to the 3600 32 GB by 2 are great for overclocking workstation, and advanced video editing. Our high frequency memory, the top frame RGB 4600 MHz AG by 2 is built with the latest the Hennix, the DDI ICs. Make it number one choice for faster and smoother gaming performance. For high capacity, high frequency, and high quality memory, Please choose the top friend RGB memory. And the latest product I'm mean, proud to present is the new Flow RC24060 CPU and memory AIO liquid cooler. The Flow RC24360 is the world first cutting edge CPU and memory AIO cooler that allow users to maximize their liquid cooling performance. The Flow RC 240, 360 CPU and memory air liquid cooler is supported by Tuffren RC from 32 MHz and 4400 MHz. The new Flow RC 240, 360 AIO liquid cooler definitely offer the best value on the market. With 21 years of experience in the industry. Thermotech is always looking to innovate our product and software. Also, this year, we face a few bumps on the road. Our team is overcoming these challenges through continuous innovation. Continuous innovation. The 2020 Thermotech Expo June Virtual Exhibition is an innovative new form of virtual communication and connection. So from June 2 to June 4, please enjoy our show from the comfort and safety of your home. Thank you for tuning in. Stay safe and stay home. We will get through this together. Again, thank you.
Yes, thank you so much, Kenny. And now, please, few steps forward. Now, the big moment. The key products unveil. I hope everyone is ready. And later on, how about let's do the final countdown all together okay. from five. So, five, four, three, three two, two, one. one. Please oh. avail. <laughs> okay. Let me quickly to introduce. These are the amazing products we're gonna introduce this time. The first one is the Tower 100. The Tower 100. I listen to the community. I got a lot of feedback from the community. They are telling us, why not Thermotay to minimize the size of the Tower 900 to the mini ITS design. So this is the idea we create today. So the Tower 100, the dimension is uh, 26 centimeter by 26 centimeter and 400 millimeter uh, and 48 centimeter tall. Not too big, it is a good size for everyone just for a mini ITS application. The most of the special thing I want to share with you, it is the definitely the Tower 900 design concept. So we minimize the size and you can fit into the, the PCIC, uh, the three slot VGA car on the PCIC, PCIE slot. That means that you can use the very high end VGA car. Oh, it, uh, the also for the AIO cooling support, and the also the, yeah, the very important thing, the power supply. You don't need to get any specialty power supply, just use a standard PS2 power supply on the market. So that means you can get a budget price power supply range on the market. And very easy to install. Three side panel with the transparent tempered glass, and very good thermal design, two chamber design, to give the, the maximum the cooling solution on this chassis. This is the tower. 100. So next one, I'm going to move it to the, the 4RC 240 and the 4RC 360. I want to highlight this part again. We reinvent AIO's liquid cooling cooler. So 4RC is a new design, it's a new cutting edge design to build with the CPU and the memory liquid cooling design. So you never find similar product on the market, only can find 4RC. And for the RC, uh, you also need to uh, purchase our memory, top frame RC. So top frame RC, uh, the spec is from the 3200 to the 4400 megahertz, 2G by 2. So that means that when you purchase for the RC, you also need to purchase the top frame RC. It's a pretty match and a good performance for your memory cooling and the CPU cooling. So this is a RC. I want to show actual product to everyone. All right. And here is the application. <coughs> okay. The radiator 240. Also, we have a 360. And CPU water block. And also, we have the memory cooling co plate. So you can see the four LED lighting strip on the top. So no matter you have a two, two memory or four memory, it looks like a four channel. Okay. So cooling idea is from the the CPU push the liquid to the radiator and come back to the memory and going to the CPU again. So this is the concept for the Flow RC 240 and 360. And moving to the memory, uh, yeah, I'm very excited to show you the amazing product from our top frame. Today, we are launched the high capacity memory. So you can see the actual product. So now we have a 32G and a 64G. This is uh, the, the amazing design. We're spending a long time, around six months, to verify the, the details back. We use the harness, the ADI. So you will see, the ADI will perform the better over cracking performance. So this product is going available on the market this July. So this July, okay? So again, we have a lot of product is going to introduce this time and stay with the Thermotech YouTube channel and the Facebook page. Later on, we are going to have a quickly boost tour. And after that, we are going to show in the case category and also the, the power supply category.
So thank you for watching and thank you. See you later. Thank you so much, Kenny. And I think our CEO just fini ev finished everything I should have said. Wow. So don't forget, Kenny just told you, stay tuned, because later on, you might win yourself some fantastic prizes. And we will be right back after commercial. Sounds like you need a sleek, stylish micro case, and we have the perfect case for you. Hi there, I'm Sarah from Thermal Tech Australia and this is the gorgeous, compact S100 micro tower case. Constructed with modern steel, the S100 is the pinnacle of sophisticated elegance when it comes to micro case design. The case is 411mm high, 220mm wide and 441mm deep. Due to its compact size, this is an incredibly versatile case, able to fit in all sorts of setups, even if they're cramped. Coming in both a sleek black and snowy white edition, this case can effortlessly look good anywhere, whether it's in a professional office space or even in the entertainment center in your living room. There is one 4mm thick tempered glass hinge door located on the left side of the case. This type of glass is more durable and scratch resistant than standard acrylic and gives you a stunning view of all your components. The case comes with a single pre-installed 120mm standard rear fan. Due to its micro size, this case only supports up to an MATX board, but that doesn't mean you have to skip out on hardware. This case is incredibly easy to run all sorts of different configurations inside, whether you want to build with a fancy AIO or just run your standard stock air cooler. You can run a CPU cooler with a max height of 165mm and a graphics card of up to 313mm in length. Additionally, you can also mount up to two 140mm fans and even one 200mm fan at the top of the case. You can also fit a radiator of up to 280mm at both the front or top of the case. The S100 features a built-in ventilated PSU shroud, aiding you with airflow as well as giving you a handy place to hide all your cables. On top of this, the S100 supports standard power supplies, so no need to worry about buying an SFX power supply. It also comes with a magnetic fan filter on the top of the case and additional filtration at the bottom to protect against dirt and dust. There is a handy drive bay tucked in under your PSU shroud, which can fit two hard drives or two SSDs. This bay can also be moved to fit your needs, such as if you're needing extra space for a fan. There are two mounting locations for your SSDs at the back of the case, which can also be moved around to the front if you need more space out back or if you just want to show them off. Lastly, your front I.O. port comes with one USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0 ports, all in easy to access locations. So if a full tower case just isn't for you, but you're over your gaming laptop not being able to run graphically intensive games, then building your dream PC in the S100 is a great solution. Combining a sophisticated, elegant style with a compact, versatile size, you are sure to have the perfect setup for gaming, office work, and everything else in between. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, remember to leave us a like and pop any comments or questions you have in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and ding the bell to be notified each and every time we upload. And while you're still here, check out any of these then we'll take videos floating around me and we'll see you in the next one. a low maintenance case that also looks sleek and sophisticated a case that will look good not just today but also in future and provide you with the space to upgrade your components as you want to well our new case has all of this and more hi there i'm sarah from thermal take australia and this is the thermal take v250 argb mid tower case the newest member of our v series of cases the V250 is 230mm high, 216.5mm wide and 477mm deep. This makes the case relatively compact in size, so it will fit on smaller desks and tighter spaces with ease. 
It has a 4mm thick tempered glass panel on the leftmost side of the case, as well as an acrylic front panel that provides the perfect way to show off the gorgeous pre-installed front fans. The side panel has four removable screws, allowing you easy access to all your components. The three 120mm ARGB fans provide high airflow and feature nine addressable LEDs and hydraulic bearings. The case also comes with one standard 120mm. Alright, welcome back guys, and now it's time for our virtual exhibit tour, and with me is Joshua. Hello, hi guys. Joshua in the afternoon version. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, so should we start with our chasing? Yes, this is Core PA, our extended series from Core P1, Core P3, and Core P5. As you can see here, it is a closed frame design, but it can turn into an open frame easily by removing all the parts on the side. This case can host up to 18 fans. And we comes with a riser cable to support our D5 pound combos. And next one we have here is this case 350. Okay, as you can see in the back, it is a giant water reservoir and also a distro play. This play can hold up up to one liter cooling liquid. And it also support our latest software such as Neon Maker and TT RGB Plus. And it also comes with the D5 pump pre-installed right here. And one more thing. We have total of 48 LEDs pre-installed on top and bottom. 24 on top and 24 in the bottom. Okay. All right, the next case we have here is Divider 300 TG ARGB. As you can see, the side panels is designed with a triangle shape of timber glass, and the other half is uh, steel. And for the front panel, we have pre-installed three ARGB fans so you can sync with RGB motherboards such, such as ASUS ARA and so on. And on the right side of the motherboard here, you can see you can install two more intake fans. So total you can have five intake fans to create a positive airflow inside this case. And two more exit, uh, exhaust fans, on the one on top and one at rear. Okay, take a look. Okay, then let's move on. You to think we only have three? Actually, we have more. Yep. So, Joshua, where are you? Here, here, here. We're right here. here. Now, of course, we have more. Fourth. Hey, hey. Now, let's move on to our Versa T35 and T25. As you can see, this series are equipped with temple glass at front. And also on the side. And for T35 here, we have RG stripe at front, and both equipped with magnetic film filter on top. And both case has easy access aisle port with USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0. Microphone jack and headphone jack. It has a full length PSU shroud. And when it, can't pre, uh, it comes with a pre installed 120 millimeters uh, standard fan. And next is our H350 and H330 budget case. Just like the last one, it comes with a full size view timber glass on the right hand side. And for the three 
650 here. We have a RGB lining at front, and we also have RGB button to change the colors or color modes. And for 330 here, the front panel design is a slick design with mesh panel, 5050. It also comes with uh, full size tempered glass. You can sh showcase your uh, parts. Okay, and then uh, next is our uh, iconic mini version of HT600, and we call it AHT200. It comes with black and white, two models. And for the front panel, we have three tempered glass here. And on both sides, we have timber glass swing door. You can swing it open. No tools needed. And you can install one uh, 240 AIO at front for 280. And on the top part, you can install two 140 millimeter fan. And for the I.O. here, we have one type C to USB 3.0, one headphone jack, and one microphone jack. And next here we have is v V150. As you can see here, we have one table, timber glass at front, and another one on the side. Swing door design, full length PSU shroud. And one exhaust fan on top with magnetic air filter and one in rear. This is like a micro ATX. Okay, same thing for H200. They are micro ATX as well. And here we have is the Tower 100, the mini ITX. Computer chassis, it comes with black and white addition. It has two uh, chamber, one for the power supply. And on the top, we have the, another chamber for a uh, graphic card and motherboards and so on. And three timber glass. Okay, also a big giant air filter on top. Sorry, I can take it out right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you later. Since you're going to uh. leave it right there, so I'm going to join you. And I will let Joshua to oh. get ready. Oh, yeah. yay, I got it. Okay. we did it. Yeah. Did you ever watch uh, Dora? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we did it anyway. Yeah. So yeah. Joshua, please get ready. And all the viewers, please follow me. Now you might know how big our office is because we need to turn all over around. Here, here. Oh, right here. All right. So now it's time for the power supply, right, Joshua? Yes. Now here is our first analog power supply up to 1550 watt with 80 plus titanium efficiency this is top power tf1 one uh tf1 1550 watts specially designed for overclocker with individual ocp startup to protect your hard drive and incredible low in, uh, in rush current under 50 ampere and strict restriction on transient response And next here we have top power PF1 from 650 watt to 850. As you can see here, it is a very, very small size for 80 plus plan and power supply. I'm comparing this one to the 80 plus plan. And you can see this is like about two centimeters shorter. And the new design platform here, we have single SMD design. All the IC chip are built on top. 
and nothing at the bottom, so no heat can accumulate on this side. Okay, the next one is our top power GF2 ARGB with radio fan on top and both sides with RGB housing. You can sync with RGB motherboard such as ASUS ARA and so on. Or if you don't have RGB motherboard, you can change the color by pushing the button we provided in the back. So you can change color mode or change color and stuff. We have seven uh, color and eight color more for this model. And next here we have top power SFX, our only ITX power supply for this year. It equipped with 900 millimeter hydraulic bearing fan and DC to DC uh, design layout, fully modular 80 plus go from 450 watts to 750. And it comes with low ripple noise, less than 2% uh, voltage regulation. And last thing, we also throw in the ITX to ATX adapter bracket in case you want to do some upgrades. And the last power supply we have here is Smart BM2 from 450 watt to 750. It is 80 plus Brown's power supply with flat cable, DC to DC design layout and 14, 140 millimeter rifle bearing fan. And last but not least is our brand new SPN 2.0 Smart Power Management. As you can see here, you can read our, all your information about your power supply. The total hour you use, the average efficiency, weekly average watch, uh, wattage consumption, or monthly kilowatts consumption. And with power management here, you can remote to shut down your power supply or reboot it with set a future uh, time to shut it down. Okay, that's about it. And all right, it's all, uh, all about our power supply. And thank you so much, Rusha. Thank you. Finally, hey, don't forget to drink some water, okay? okay. Because <laughs> you have been talking, 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 not yep. only in the morning, also in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. So why are you still here? I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> now, all the viewers, follow me. Ta -da! My time. Yay, my finally. Time. Dun. Dun, yeah. dun, dun. I'm Alvin, <laughs> here. Yeah. Okay, so okay. how about our coolers? Yeah, uh, Alvin here. Uh, we'll just start a cooler quick tour for the new product at uh, our virtual exhibition this year. Okay, okay we start with uh, the powerful software I believe uh, some of you may use or some of you maybe not, but this is a good timing. Uh, to know more about the, the software called the Neon Maker, it's a really powerful, fully customized lighting identity software, which means you can connect with our, our, our RGB high-end product and uh, doing the lighting editing with the timeline function. Also, you can uh, right now uh, support our high-end cast fan and the uh, all-in-one cooler, including the Ring Core, Ring Trio, and the Flow DX all-in-one to come with uh, three different sizes, 240, 280, and 360, okay. So the RGB adjustable LED on both of the products, so you can through, you can control the choose the color mode, the lighting speed, the colors, and the create a your own lighting effect. Okay, it's very cool. So you if you haven't tried this, uh, the Neo Maker, I suggest you just get those of the product like Ring Core Ring and the Flow the Exit and download the, the software. It's free. Try create a your own stunning lighting uh, effect. Okay, uh, let's move on. Next one is for the middle range, uh, it's the ARGB thing called the Pure Duo. Uh, why we call it Duo? Because, uh, let's see this, let's see, let me stop the play this here. You can see, uh, we can zoom in, see the fan hub here, you can see there's a two uh, individual LED ring. Okay, so outside and inside, the color is different, right? Everyone can see this. So that's uh, the two individual ring. Each ring uh, features nine addressable LED, which means that you totally have an 18 LED inside the fan. You can control by the model software, um, the ASUS Gigabyte MSI SROC. 
And if you, you don't want to use the marble software or you, your marble don't have the, the five four pin uh, header, you can use a little controller. So, um, we include the color box. Uh, it's, it can allow you manually just click to switch uh, different colors and mode and speed here. Okay, it comes with 120, 140, two different sizes and black and white. All right, next one uh, as a base light. So it's a single color fan. Uh, also two sizes, 120 and 140. Uh, this is a single color, so uh, we have the four different color uh, for your options. It's a blue, red, green, white. Okay, here is a green one. Okay, we got the, uh, the name is Pure A12 and A40. Right, next one uh, is a non-RGB. I know that uh, some of you is uh, not a fan for the RGB because uh, recently we have uh, so many RGB fans. Uh, if you were looking for uh, just an RGB fan and uh, with really high speed, great performance, uh, here is it. Uh, this is a new series we launched this year. Right now it's called the Top Fan 12. Okay, so 12 means there's a 120 millimeter fan. Um, right now, this fan, special design because uh, it, it's running PWM from 500 to 2000, the RPM. So the performance is quite good. This is the numbers for your reference. For the air pressure, the numbers is 2.41. Uh, air flow is 58 CFN, so quite good. And the price is more impressive. You know, single fan is a 19.99 USD dollars. If you compare it to other fans on the market, you can find that you get a really nice fan with a reasonable price. All right, next one, we move on to the all-in one. Uh, this is a CPU only one cooler uh, just for the entry level or mastering because it's ARGB, it comes with the three sizes, 120, 240, and the 360. We got three different models. Um, okay, and also it's a support uh, the ARGB, which means uh, the adjustable ED can be controlled by the model software. Uh, just like I mentioned before, like a pure dealer, we have the little controller here. Uh, you can just manually switch the LED light or color or modes here is some um, very uh, very nice price okay if you want buy the new only one all right next one oh uh, this is a brand new and uh, this is a whole new idea uh, about the only one uh, cooler because uh, it's not only just a CPU only one you also can buy the the memory wallet block inside okay so you have a, I believe this is never seen this before on the market because there's no one doing this because we got a patent Okay, so this is our very first one. Yeah, have a, this is a CPU and the memory only one liquid cooler. It comes with the two size, Flow RC 240 and the Flow RC 360. Just like I say, it's a CPU water block. Also, we have a, a memory water block and the full LED strip. That's a super bright LED inside, adjustable LED it's, and the fan. Uh, memory cover and the CPU water block, all the adjustable LED can be controlled by the marble sink and also have a, just like I said, I said this is a, this is a eight, twice or three times, I I'm, I'm, don't remember. A uh, little control here, you can use the uh, manually to click to change the mode and anything. And it also, if you want to buy the only one, you need to buy the top frame RC uh, memory. This is a new memory, a special design for the only one solution. I will give you more in uh, detail about the memory later. Okay, let's move on to liquid cooling. Yeah, you think we're gonna stop right here? No, let's follow Elvin. All right, let's me again, let's me again. Uh, right now, this is uh, the section for the liquid cooling components. Uh, we got a few new products that cover the water blocker, pump and wrist bomb, uh, the tools and the fittings. Okay, let's start the first one. First one is the Pacific MX1 CPU water block. All right, uh, you see the, the design here is uh, quite different compared to our mm, CPU water block you've seen it before or on the market the CPU water block because uh, it's kind of like, like a candle or a can. Uh, because we increase the depth here, make it thick, and uh, also we want to give you more area for the lighting, uh, uh, light, RGB lighting. Uh, it's supported by our TTRGB Plus software, which means you can control the lighting through the software. Also, we have the temperature sensor built in. You can check out the real mm, water temperature go through the water block. All right, next one is a Pacific W7 Plus. Uh, this one uh, is a transparent cover design, so which means you can it's a see through. You can see through the cover and the see uh, structure inside microfilm inside the water block and uh, 
also comes with uh, lighting, uh, TDRG plus support, editing the lighting, and uh, have the temperature sensor inside. All right, next one is a popular restaurant. This is a new one called the PR32-D5. Uh, we changed the two different uh, parts. The first one is the uh, upper part for the cup. This is rotatable, which means you can change the inlay outlet position to fit your loop setup. And another one is then on the button for the holder and the bracket here. Uh, the holder is a bit bigger, so it got more stable when you put it, put it inside the chassis and the, the, the bracket can help you to uh, install or mount your pump reservoir uh, with your radiator or, or uh, cast fan. All right, next one is the fitting. Fittings, we got uh, C-Pro and the uh, pattern C-Pro and the 90 degree adapter. So, you know, we got eight different color options here. Just, you can pick up the, the color you like. Uh, last two, and uh, this is the TF2. Um, we have the TF1 temperature sensor and the flow sensor. This second generation, we just upgrade the body to from the plastic to whole copper design. So the reliability and the durability will be even better. Last one for cooler uh, is the thermal grease. All right. Uh, we have two new models called the TG30 and the TG50. Also, we come with a, uh, uh, also there's a cleaning key come with uh, these two um, thermal grease. First one is uh, the pad to help you to clean the thermal grease. And another one is very innovation. Uh, I'm saying innovation. Uh, it's very creative design. Uh, a honeycomb stencil. OK, just like uh, the CPU for here, uh, we can use the honeycomb stencil, put it on onto your CPU, and then just apply the thermal grease on that. Use the video tool, just spray out evenly. Then you're done. You can see that's very beautiful because the honeycomb is the best way to apply the CPU, the shape, and make sure the summer grease can cover all the corner around the CPU. All right, that's it for cooler. Let's move on to the memory. Yeah, I'm right here already. And I'm waiting for the almighty oven. Oh, all right, oh. I'm here. <laughs> okay. okay. So how about the memory part? Yeah, let's start. Okay, for memory, uh, for the memory, we got uh, Tuffren, right? We, we just launched Tuffren last year at Computex. Uh, this year, year we got uh, two different topics here for you guys. The first one is uh, Tuffren High Frequency One. It's a 4600 megahertz, come with the black and white, two different colors here. And uh, this one, we're using the Hynix D die. Okay, D die is uh, better for the overvolting, so it can run it with a really high frequency and uh, give you better overclocking performance here. All right, uh, next one is a large capacity one. Uh, we got two different series. Uh, the first one is the 16 gigabyte memory module. Uh, we have the three different frequencies 32, 36, and 40. Okay, and uh, you're using 32 and 3600 megahertz, uh, the memory module you're using Hynix A die. Okay, A die is a two gigabyte memory chip from Hynix. Uh, it's designed for overclocking. Okay, I would say it's designed for the overclocking and uh, high voltage. So you can get a better performance on well, that. And then another one uh, is uh, 32 gigabyte. There's, um, uh, have uh, two different frequencies, 32 and 36, also using the A die. All the tougher RGB series is support Neon Maker, give you the best lighting editing effect. The final one is uh, the full RC and the, our tough friend, RC. Just like I remember, I say full RC is a special design, the pattern design, and that you must, if you want to use a solution for the full RC, you definitely need to use the tough friend RC. Okay, the tough friend RC is the design for full RC, which means the only memory you can use is the tough friend RC with our 4 rc all in one solution. We got a four different frequency from 32 to 44. All right, that's uh, for the memory. Let's move on to the TT gaming. And thank you so much, Yaving. And it's time for the most exciting part, gaming. Gaming is our lives, right, Stephen? Yes, that is our, uh, actually, we really focus a lot on our gaming product. And for this year, we're very excited to uh, introduce to you our two uh, whole new series. Uh, the first one is the Argent series uh, gaming product, and the, the other one is the Hasne Miku gaming series. Now let's uh, take a look at the uh, Argent series, which is definitely the highlight of this year's uh, Thermotech gaming product. And uh, uh, for the Argent series, it ranges from the keyboard, mice, uh, uh, mouse pad, mouse bungee, headset, and headset stand. So total of six products in total. And uh, for the Argent series, we really focus on the quality 
uh, and the overall feel and also the functionality of uh, our entire series products. So if you can take a look at this keyboard first, and this is a mechanical gaming keyboard, comes in a cherry blue and cherry silver switches, okay? Because this is just a quick tool, so we're gonna take a very fast glimpse at all of our uh, products, okay? And since we're in the keyboard section, uh, just take a look at this. Uh, this is our first uh, wireless uh, gaming keyboard. Now this is not the Argent series. This is the W1, uh, W1 uh, wireless gaming keyboard, which comes in three mode, uh, 2.4 gigahertz wireless, uh, Bluetooth, and the conventional wire connection. Now if you come over here, okay. All right, and mice. This determiner, we gonna win this game or not? Yes, okay. and let's continue with the Argen series mouse, which is the Argen M5 RGB mouse. And this one comes in two models, the wired one and the wireless one. So, so not only we have a wi wireless keyboard, we, al we also have a wireless mouse. So this year we're really ambitious to go into the wireless market. Okay, so for the uh, Argen M5 mouse, they both come with a uh, uh, Pixar sensor up to 16,000 DPI, okay? And for the Argen series, um, since you uh, look at the cable, uh, sorry, the keyboard already, and now the mice, they'll have this uh, really beautiful underglow lighting effect. And also on the other Argent series product as well, as I will show you later on, we have a whole Argent series set up for you outside. But let's finish on, on, on the rest of the Argent series product. And this one is the Argent MP1 RGB mouse pad. We also use the aluminum material, same as the keyboard. Okay, and also the RGB underglow at the bottom, so very beautiful. And also this little small thing, the mouse bungee also has the RGB underglow lighting effect at the bottom. And this one is, oh sorry, the uh, mouse bungee we call the uh, MB1. And for the headset, this is the Argen uh, HS1 RGB headset stand. Okay, also use big plate of aluminum and lighting effect very nicely and also the RGB underglow. If you follow me, let's go take a look at our uh, headset. Headsets, yes. magical sounds. Yes, and just take a look at this whole headset setup. You can see that we have wide variety of headsets for you to select, but let's focus on the uh, the most the top quality, the best one uh, of our headset lineup, which is the Argen headset. And the Argen H5 RGB, uh, sorry, the Argen H5 headset comes in three models: the wireless one, and uh, the two wired one. Okay, so um, they are very uh, comfortable, and the sound quality is, is also very very good. And just to take a quick glimpse at, at the uh, the rest of the headset, we also have the Rim Pro. RGB 7.1 and the Shark family with uh, Shark XT 7.1 and Shark XT stereo. And also we have a, a small uh, headset for this, it's the Isurus Pro. And all of, all of our headsets are compat compatible with uh, PC, uh, PS4, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, etc. Okay, and let's take a look And of course, outside. Stefan, since we have all the Thermotech gaming products, of course we need to sit so comfortable so we can play our games for a long, 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 long time. Yeah, so Stefan, are you awesome. ready? Okay, yeah. So now let's check out the Hatsune Miku battle station that we have set up for you. Now this is quite interesting because not only is eye-catching, but we also make it very functional. And we, and we also use the best product to support our Hatsune Miku fans out there. So um, generally you can see it's just the uh, Hatsune Miku color all over, which is the, the pink and the baby blue color. And there are a total of six products for the Hatsune Miku series ranging from uh, the case, which is the Versa H26 case, and the Pure Plus RGB 12 radiator fans inside, as you can see. Okay, and also the uh, Level 20 RGB uh, gaming keyboard and uh, Level 20 RGB gaming mouse. Okay, and with this, the Pulse G100 headset. They're all Miku special edition, and of course, this thing. The Hasne Miku gaming mouse. Oh, uh, sorry, the <laughs> gaming chair. Okay, so if you follow me, let's go take a look at our final session of the quick tour. Okay, so let's, first of all, let's take a look at the, uh, the chair. This is our new cyber chair E500. And for these two chair, the main purpose is to have a fully ergonomic purpose. So not only it's very comfortable, but it's also a super ergonomically friendly. Okay, so these two, and you can expect the, uh, uh, they function like all of our gaming, ga gaming chairs, except, you know, this one is just very, very ergonomic. Okay, and behind the chair is the desk. This is our new uh, uh, gaming desk. We call this the Tough Desk 500L. It's a very large size, and you can have multiple uh, monitors set up, and your big system set up. 
uh, on the desk because the desk holds up to 330 pounds. Okay, so just to finish this quick tour, as you can see, we have the Argent series set up for you. And you can see that I mentioned before the RGB underglow that's coming out from the bottom of each product, like the keyboard, the mouse pad, the mouse, mouse bungee, and the headset stand, just very beautiful and consistent in design. So that's my time for the, uh, the gaming part. Yeah, so thank you so much, Stefan. Yes. Don't forget to drink water. I feel like yes. I'm your mom now. <laughs> 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 All right, so we will be right back after our show break. See you later. See you. Thank you. As well as a removable filter at the bottom. There is also a vertical mount at the rear of the case for your hard drives. This allows for you to swap out your storage with ease, making it an incredibly convenient case for a workstation or archiving setup. The case also has quite high feet, meaning there is a lot of space beneath the case for additional airflow access. So if your current workstation PC is looking sad and struggling under the pressure of big resource heavy programs, then this PC is the perfect way to upgrade. Whether it's getting more space for beefier components or wanting to create a beautiful custom water loop, the V51 has got you covered. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy, remember to leave us a like and leave any comments or questions you may have in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and ding the bell to be notified each and every time we upload. And while you're still here, Feel free to check out any of these thermal tech videos that are currently blocking me. Thanks guys, appreciate it. Real cool. Can't work in these conditions. That's probably the end, I think. There. I'm Sarah from Thermaltake Australia and these are the brand new Thermaltake Ring Quad RGB fans. These gorgeous fans come in two sizes, 120 and 140 millimeters. With the goal of pushing the boundaries of RGB integration in fans, 
We've upped the LED count to an insane 54 individually addressable LEDs spread across four separate controllable LED rings. We've had requests ever since we first released the ring fans to have them in white. So we're happy to say that the ring quad fan will be available in both black and a brand new snow edition. So they'll fit any and every build. Of course, you're not just stuck with these simple presets with these fans. Using our innovative NeoMaker software, you can customize your fans to your heart's content. You can not only change the colors of your fans, but also set up the... All right, welcome back. May we have your attention, please? With me is Elvin again. Yeah, it's me again. But we're going to talk about different things. Right, uh, I just um, talk a quick go through the product, right? Mm. Uh, cooler in the memory. Right now, um, we talk about the AR. AR? You know, AR technology is a really hot topic uh, recently, right? Mm. And uh, we also have uh, the AR applications uh, for integrated with our product. Mm. Okay, let me, let, me show, let me show you. Okay. 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 So, I will hold on right here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, let me. Uh, I will show to all okay. the audience. Okay. okay. You can. You can go closer. You can go to the YouTube. I will you, go if further. If you want to Bye. see the live stream here. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Uh, if you can see here is our, our app, a mobile app called the ARTT. Okay. Inside the app, we have the items on of our high-end product like a memory, top frame RGB, ring core, and uh, the HT six hundred. Okay, so through the, the, the AR app, you can do some a little bit like uh, interactive uh, with um, interact with our our product. Uh, before you buy, you want to know more, or you already buy it, but you want to learn more detail or try to create something uh, special, experience the product from a different way. You should download this. Okay, that's. Uh, choose the chassis because chassis is a really special function here. All right. Okay, chassis, chassis and the scan a little bit. Put the a chassis, you see? See? You see that? A chassis actually is here. Okay, HT600. And uh, we got black and the snow, right? So I can change colors from here. This is a button. Uh, you can change back. Okay, I prefer white. All right, so first you can use two fingers like you use the Google map. You can just enlarge the, the, the chassis. Okay, just move around, you know, floating or put it on the, the floor. The, so the spec sheet, uh, if you want to know. Also, uh, push your next step. There's some key features here. Uh, if you haven't buy the HT600, um, you should download the app and uh, check out the chassis. Uh, you will find this is a really cool product. Then, next step that's very important. See, here is a lighting. Uh, we have built up the 3D module of the, all the components that we can put inside the chassis. So like a power supply, a fan, water cooling components, tubing, and a memory. All right, download the 3D module. Then, magic is here. You can see all the components already inside. Okay, we can zoom in. Zoom in, not from not the camera. I can zoom in by myself. Okay, you can see there's so many different components inside, right? And uh, I just move it a little bit. You see the tubes here, memories here, water blocks here. All right, that's very cool because uh, it's a, like a configuration simulation uh, here uh, because when you beat up the loop uh, and uh, before you buy the components, you don't know how to set up the liquid cooling. You don't know how to set up the loop, you know, where to put the VGA car, put the power supply, put uh, the the, the water block, uh, central, the radiator. You can use this tool, this ARTT app. This is very useful. And uh, when you set up all the things, just, you know, here is a screenshot. You can just uh, 
push with the button, then just you know become the pictures, and then you know your configuration. Also, if you want to learn more, here is a link. You can link to our global website for our product. Here is a HG six hundred. Uh, full tower chassis. Here is the introduction. All the videos here, features here, specs here. Everything you want to know about chassis. All information is here. So try the ARTT. You can go to the Apple Store or Google Play. You can download it free. It's very interesting. Try this one. Okay. All right. So try it. Not me. <laughs> try uh, yeah, try it, try it, try this ARTD <laughs> app. Yeah, you won't regret. You won't regret. But I will. Uh, <laughs> if you, if they try okay. me, I will regret. Maybe. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Shelley. And take a short break. Don't forget to drink some water. Say, no, all the viewers, please follow me here. Right now, uh, in the afternoon, I have James with me. Hello. Would Hello. you like to say hi to all the viewers? Hello, the fans around the world. This is James. Yeah, your fans, right? Well, basically, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> basically, yeah. So what were you doing in the morning? I didn't see you. Yeah, I, I kind of helped uh, uh, our marketing team outside of the room. Uh, you know, actually, you don't have to explain so much. We need to focus on our chases. I'm, I'm kind of <laughs> nervous right now. <laughs> don't be nervous. I'll be with you. Not always. Okay. <laughs> Only for this part. Okay. So first of all, what do you have? Yeah. Uh, so before we get started, well, again, thanks, Elvin, to introduce the ARTT for us. That's a really useful tool that for the users to learn more about our new cases. So and before we get started to introduce the new cases, if you have any questions, you feel free to ask in the comment sections. I got a little secret earphone right here. So if there's any questions pop up, well, either on YouTube or Facebook, our partner will let me know and I will answer the questions right away. So the first one right here, this is the brand new models, the core PATG. So this is the brand new model from the one of the most popular case series on the market from Thermotech, the core P series. So if you're kind of familiar with the Thermotech cases part of the line, there are a lot of uh, popular cases from the Core P series like the Core P5, Core P3, or some unique design like Core P7 or P90, right? So the Core P8 right here just bring the whole concept of the open frame case to another level. So right here, the first thing you will notice is there are a lot of fans inside, right? You can see the fans everywhere. So I know some of the customers like to go with the air cooling because uh, for a DIY liquid cooling is kind of tricky for some of the customer. It's kind of difficult. So if you go for air cooling, it can support up to 18 fans. So whoa. the only questions you have to ask about yourself is not how many fans you can mount it in this case. The questions you have to ask yourself is how many fans you have on hand to install in this case. So since it's from the core P series, it's still the open frame case. But right here is kind of like standard floor tower cases surrounded by the uh, tempered glasses. But it can actually transform to the open frame cases real quick. So I'll ask my hands-on partner, Joshua, again to help me do it. So well, even though I asked my partners to help me, it's not because, it's not mean that it is difficult to do it. it. Trust me, it's very easy. You can do it by yourself at home. All you gotta do is to remove the four screws right here and take it out the giant tempered glasses. And oh, there's one more thing I wanna emphasize. We have two little security stands right here to help you to hold the tempered glasses. And after you remove the giant tempered glasses right here, all you gotta do is to slide out the top tempered glasses right here, like this, and you gotta do the same thing from the front panel. And since we're live streaming, so I just gonna demo the top, okay? And also, if you wanna, if you might have a question like, oh, the Core P5 doesn't have the friends right here, so 
You can also remove this frame right here. You just got to unscrew just two up here and down here. So you can take these frames out. So for this case, you can, if you don't have the, a lot of space in your game room or main caves, you can support the wall mount installations like other core piece series. Let me show you at the back of this case right here. So what you gotta do is to, you gotta buy the wall mount frame, the same one you hand up your TV, it's right here. So you can mount it in your room. Okay, so let's get back to the case. And, oh, I wanna show you the IO port first. Like you can see, it's right here. So it comes with two USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0 and one type C right here. That's what customers really want for right now. And also the graphic card right here is support the vertical installation or the horizontal installations. So all you gotta do is to just simply rotate this uh, slot right here and thermal take give the because if you wanna install the vertically you need to buy extra riser cable, right? So it costs you extra money. So for this one, you don't really need to buy extra riser cable because we, it will come with this case. We will have the riser cable included. And let me show you the cable management at the back of the case. Thank you. Oh, sorry, other side. So, the space is kind of really big. You don't really need to worry about the cable management. Yeah. Oh, watch out. Yeah, like this. As you can see, it's kind of, it has a huge space to do the cable management. So you don't really need to worry about it. I know a lot of customers don't really like to do the cable management, but it's kind of have a huge space for you guys. All right. So also the last thing I want to talk about is that it support our Pacific Core P5. Okay, sorry. I have to take a note to see the note because it's kind of tricky to remember memorize. So it support our Pacific Core P5 DP D5 Plus Distro Play with pump combos. So. At first, this is designed for the Core P5, and since this is kind of big brothers for the Core P5, of course, it can support it. So, but if you don't want to go with this, you can have another fence right up here. Yeah, that's pretty much everything we have for this one. Oh, hold on. Okay, okay. There's a questions from, <laughs> there's a questions from, Brian, Ohio, Cleveland, okay? <laughs> so he asked us, if, is, it, is this case support the 140 fans? Yes, it can support 140 millimeter fans at this case, but it can, also, it can only support 12. Because at uh, this side, this two, it can only support 120. That's good question, Brian, thank you. Okay, so next, move on to our next one. Next one is the Distro Case 350P. So I'm, I know a lot of people already seen this case because last year during the Computex, we present this, the first prototype of this case. And earlier this year during the CES, we have also present this case. So the design concept for this one is uh, it's because the distro play is kind of very popular nowadays. A lot of customers like to build a system with the distro play. So the questions that comes to us, to us tasting is that, is there any possible for us to have a case that combined with the distro play? So here we go. This is the solution. So. Again, it's named because of the back of the case. It comes with the giant distribution plate right here, as you can see. This is gorgeous with the lighting. And it comes with total 40 LEDs. There are 24 on top and 24 at the bottom. 
and it can support the TTRGB Plus software and our brand new Neon Makers. So imagine that if you have this case and you buy our ring quad fan and our tough fan, so you can customize all of the lighting effects by Neon Makers. So it's going to be the showcase in your game room, obviously. And it comes with the D5 pump. That is a standard size D5 pump, right? Now, let me take it off to show you so you can see clearly. Okay, so the D5 pump is right down here. Here, yeah. And the other things I want to tell you about is that it comes with the rotational, rotational and swingable multiple tray right here. So it's kind of very good design for the users to do, to build a system because you can easily to remove it and install all the components and you can put it back. And since it's a rotational bow, you can do the uh, cable management right behind this module tray. And also one last thing I want to tell you guys is that you might, you might curious that where can we install the hard drive, right? So actually, it can support one 2.5 inches right here, like right this, right here. And you can also mount your RGB lining hard drive right here. So it will be kind of very cool for you and easy to installation. And of course, if you want to have the 3.5 inches, it will be right back here, here and here. Yeah. All right. So. Oh, I forgot about the price. Sorry, guys. <laughs> for the core PA, it's 199. Let's back to the core PA, and it will be available around the end of July. And for the digital case 350, the price will be 599, and it will also available around the end of July. Okay, next, move on to our brand new Mi Tower cases divider, 300 TG ARGB. So it's kind of very cool design, as you can see right here. The side panel is, is uh, tempered glasses and steel, and it's split diagonally like this. So for the tempered glasses, it's kind of very easy to remove. And we have designed a little gap right in, in the middle of this two material. So it's kind of increased the ventilations. So for the Tempered glass, you just have to remove it. Like it's very easy. You don't need it actually. And also for the for here, you just have the two screws right here. Yeah. Thank you, Joshua. Like this. So it's kind of very easy for you to access the internal cases to build a whole system. And for the front, there's another tempered glasses panel right here. Right here. So it comes with three ARGB fans. And it's also very easy to take this out like this. And we have the filters right here for the ventilations. And you just need to clean it very easily. Oh, thank you. So there's one more thing I want to introduce you is that this mid tower case support EATX motherboard. So you might be curious that the internal space looks kind of tiny, compact. So how can we? Install the EATX motherboard, right? We have a little bracket right here. So if you have the EATX motherboard, you just obviously you can install the fans right here. So what you gotta do is you have to mount this bracket right here. So it has the holes to support the EATX motherboard. And also Obviously, some customers doesn't really like the, there's a, not, a lot of holes on the multiple tray. So if you don't want to, if you don't want to have the fence right here, but you only have the ATX motherboard, you still can use this to cover the major holes right at this part. So it's kind of very cool design. So for the IO port for this case, it comes with two USB 3.0 and one Type-C. And the price for the ARGB, uh, the divider 300 TG ARGB is 99, and it will be available on the market in September. 
All right, let's move on to our next models. Yeah, so that's why I'm here. I need to buy some time for our James Bond. Here. <laughs> hey. Hello. So shall we? Yeah, sure. So these two models are the entry levels. Thermotex always design all kinds of cases, not only the high-end case, of course, the entry-level market. So the two models right here is our brand new first RT35 RGB and first RT25. So the RGB one, as you can see, there are RGB lighting straight at front. So you can easy to change the lining effects by the RGB buttons at the top of the IO port right here. And this is two tempered glasses, one is at front, and another one is at the left side. Let me show you. So for this two model, it's kind of it's kind of same body but with different front panels. So let me show you the internal structure of this case. So you just have to remove the two hands through and remove the tempered glasses side panel. So as you can see, we have a full length power cover right down here. So it's kind of help the customers to do the cable management and increase the ventilations. And it comes with only one standard fans when you have available on the market right at the rear side here. So you also have the magnetic fan filters at top. So it's kind of very easy for you to clean up. And also another fan filter is that removable fan filter at the bottom for the power supply. Yeah, here. So the price for this one is $5.99. And for the first RT25 is $49.99. And this two will be available in September. All right, thank you so much, James. And wait, uh, we're supposed to continue, right? Where's Hi. my partner? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Hey, James. Hello. Got questions. Okay. Oh, yeah? But yeah. my partner doesn't tell yeah. me about the questions. Uh, because all the questions are here. Oh, okay. You okay. didn't bring out your, your phone, okay? Okay. Okay, so uh, first one, can I install 360 radiator on the top uh, and a digital play on PA in the same time? Radiator on top and distro play at the same time for the core PA, right? Yeah. Well... Which means that in core PA, can you put a 360 radiator on top and also put that distro play at the same time? You know? Yes, yes, same of time. course. Yes, same of course. Same time together? Yes, of you course. You sure? Yeah. You guarantee? Yes. Okay, I trust you. Okay. Uh, the, there's another question I found this is really interesting. This, um, the digital case. Yep. Uh, itself is a pump and reservoir, right? Yes. Digital play. Yes. But the water block is not included, right? Water block, no. No, no right? No, no. So, and the, the coolant is not included, right? No, you have to buy your own coolant. So, which means you have to buy the coolant, you have yes. to buy the water block. It's yes. just uh, purely digital case, just a giant digital play. Yes, yes. Right? Yes. Okay, that's a uh, very interesting questions here and uh, also uh, is, there's a uh, user says um, can you change the RGB mode with uh, of a water block through the there's a button on the chassis no for a digital case yeah just mm. like other our other chassis uh, they have the RGB uh, controller you have the yes, button yes. to click the changes yes, so, how the about the, so no right no, no, no. You have the you have to connect our software. So for Ditro case, yeah, you have to use uh, the TTRG process to control the the light. Yes, or neon makers. Or a neon yes. maker. There's a no buttons. No, no, on no, that no. for RGB no. control, no. right? All right. So I think that's um, uh, oh, one last one. One last question. Ditro case 315p hard to clean for dust particles. Um, well, I think it's kind of to how to you how describe these questions because okay. if you really like this kind of concept you really want to have the open frame cases of course you gotta 
have to a little bit more about the clean. You have to care about it. Maybe you gotta clean it like every one, every week or every two weeks. If you buy the case, you should take care of uh, all the components in the chest every yes. day. You can yes. check out the, is there yes. any dust inside every yes. day, right? Y yes. Okay. Okay. So you gotta be patient. Yes. Okay. All right. I think that's all the questions right now for you. If you got a more questions, please feel free to leave on the on the, on the YouTube channel or uh, fan page or free face fan page. Our colleagues will give you the feedback and the final answer for you. Okay, uh, back to Catherine. Uh, actually, we won't do any feedbacks because we're gonna take a short break. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's, that's what I need finally, right now. Finally, yes, that's what time. I need right now. All right, so thank you so much, James Bond, thank and you. we'll be right back. Bye. With your hands, but also set up variations and create all sorts of incredible, fully customized effects. These effects can then be saved as presets, allowing you to mix up your lighting whenever you like, or even share with friends. Neon Maker allows you to take control and make your fans as unique as your build itself is. Now don't let the size of the ring quads unsettle you. The high static pressure design of our ring series fans are engineered to generate high airflow without sacrificing wisp required operation. The anti-vibration rubber pads provide hassle-free usage and ensure all your corners are nice and covered. If you're looking for the coolest fan to add some RGB flair to your build, you can't go past the Ring Quad RGB fans. Not only do they look stunning and can be fully customized to suit you, but they provide excellent airflow without sacrificing silent running. We know you'll become just as big of a fan of the new Ring Quad fans as we are. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy, remember to leave us a like and let us know any comments or questions you may have in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and ding the bell to be notified each and every time that we upload. And while you're here, check out one of these cool thermal take videos above me. We'll see you in the next one. Now, while this case might not be everyone's cup of tea, 
Boy, does it make a statement. Are you a PC building enthusiast who wants their next build to stand out from the crowd? Someone who loves artistic, aesthetics-driven builds. Well, this next case has that in spades. Hey there, I'm Sarah from Thermaltake Australia and this is the Thermaltake AH T600 Full Tower Case. The AH T600 is 628.3mm high, 337mm wide and 763mm deep. This Apache-inspired open frame full tower case is constructed using solid steel. On top of this, it comes with two gorgeous 5mm tempered glass hinge panels on the left and right side of the case. This type of glass is more durable and scratch resistant than standard acrylic and ensures that your hardware is visible from every angle. There is also three smaller 3mm tempered glass windows along the front. Alright, welcome back with me again, James Bond. Did you weave your secret earphones? Yeah, sure. Did you weave your secret girlfriends? Yep. Hi, love you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so back to Chase's. Okay, so let's get back to our entry level cases. There's another two, the HC series. So the first one right here is H350 TG RGB, and this one is H330 TG. So obviously it's kind of very different design for the front panels. So for the H350, as you can see, there's a lighting strips right up all the way down here. So you can easily change the RGB lighting effects by the switch button on the IO port. Let me show you the IO port. It's right here. So it has the RGB switch right here. Yes. Okay. So for this kind of slick designs, the only concern that customer might have is the ventilation because it covers all up at the farm. So, but actually you don't really need to worry about these issues because we have a kind of very big gap on top of the front panel right here. You can help with the ventilation. And you also come with the magnetic fan filters at top, like the Versar T series I just introduced right here. And of course, the bottom we have the removable fan filters here. Yes. So, also, let's see the next one the H330TG. The front panel design is mesh. This is for the customers that looking for the case that with a very good ventilation. You can see right here. You can have the lighting fans, the RGB fans that you saw in front of the uh, front panels down here. So you can see the lighting effects, very cool. And these two models comes with only one standard 120 millimeter fans that rares. And the price for H350 is 59 and for the H330 is 49 and this two will also be available around the August. All right, next move on to our next micro case. As you can see down the slogan right here, we have minimized some of our signature cases. The first one right here is our AHT 200. It will be available in a black and snow version. As you might know, earlier this year, we have launched our very first helicopter design style AHT 200, AHT 600. And right now we have the AHT 200 because since the CES, we have launched the previous one. A lot of customers or models uh, have the feedback to us that they love this kind of design, but it's kind of too big for their rooms. Is there any possible that Thermotech can have the smaller design? And so we always cared about our customers. We always 
take their advice very seriously. So there you go, the smaller version of the HT600, the HT200. And it support the micro ATX. Let me show you the side of the case. So the internal space is kind of tiny, but it can fit a lot of components. And for the swing doors, it's the similar design concept with the HT600. It's a swing door right like this and it's very easy to remove you just got to take it out like this it will be very easy for you to build your assistance you can see when you take out the uh, TG side panels you can install the power supply the graphic car and for this case is it is well designed for the AIO liquid cooling. It is not for the DIY liquid systems. So if you are the customers that want to do the very tricky liquid cooling, DIY liquid cooling systems, I suggest you to go for the HT600. But if you don't really like the DIY cooling system, you don't want to design the tricky loops, you can buy the HT200. And for the Radiator, it can support up to 280 at the front, right here. And you can see through the tempered glass at front with the RGB fans. It's kind of stunning feel right here. And for the fan support, it can support up to 2140 at top. Let me show you. So again, it's kind of very easy to install the top panels. So you just have to unscrew total four big screws right here. And you can take it out and do your installations or to clean your systems. So right here we have two 140 millimeter fans right here. And also since this uh, micro ATX case, you might curious that, well, how about the size of the PSU? Do we, does it fit the standard size ATX power supply? And yes, as you can see right here, there are plenty of space down here, this part. So you can, of course, install the standard size of the power supply right here. And let me show you the other side of the case. This is the place where you install the hard drive. Right here, oh, let me open the panels for you. Same, it's very easy to remove. So this is where you install the hard drive right here. You can install total three 2.5 inch SSD right this part. You, we have the cage right here. And if you wanna install the 3.5, you just have to take this out, take this three cage away and you can install right here. And also for a IO port, it's on the top of the case. The overall design of the IO port is kind of similar with the HT600 right here. Let me show you. We have a very stylish power button right here. Looks very cool. And it comes with two USB 3.0 and one Type-C, of course. Okay. And also, if the hard drive, if three 2.5 inch hard drives is not enough for you, I know some of the customers want to install as many as possible, the hard drive they want to have. We have two little secret place for you to install the hard drive right here as you can see you just got to remove these two decoration pots right here right here yes like this again you don't need any tools to remove this it's very easy you just have to put it out yeah and as you can see right here you might curious that oh where can I mount the hard drive right so the place that you can install the hard drive is uh, right behind this plate right here. 
So you have the screws, you can screw it right here and you just have to put it back. So it's kind of secret place for you. So obviously if you have two hard drive that doesn't come with the RGB lighting effects, you can obviously install right here and install your RGB hard drive at the right side of the case. Okay, so for the black one, the MSRP will be 139 and for the snow version, it will be 149. And these two models will be available on the market around September. Okay, let's move on to our next micro case. The thing, this is another minimized case, the signature case. Earlier this year, we have launched the V250 TGA RGB, and that was one of very popular case right now around the world. So we decided to have a smaller version of it, the same concept with the HT600s. So the V150 right here, it support the micro ATX, and it's kind of entry level case. The, I will let you know the price at the end. And the first thing you will notice is the tempered glass front panel, right? And some of the customer might ask, oh, how can you have the ventilations when you cover the big tempered glass at front? So as you can see right here, we have the two gap right here, and we have the fan filters inside of this gap, so you don't really need to worry about all the dust. So in another Tempered glass will be at the side of this case and it is designed for the swing door. It's very easy to access the internal space for build a whole system like this. Yeah. And let me show you the internal structures. And for this case, it can support the graphic car vertical only as you can see right here and it has the full in part shroud to help you do the uh, cable management or you keep the ventilations down bottom for the power supply and this case comes with only one standard fence at a rear if you want a RGB fence you gotta buy extra and you can support the AIO at front up to 360. And also for the CPU coolers, I know some of the customers buy this kind of case. They might uh, stay with the air cooling. So for the air cooler, right, for this case, the high is up to 155 millimeters, so you have to aware of about this when you buy this case. And of course, we can support the exhaust fans at top and at rear, and we have the, again, the magnetic fan filters right here. And for this case, the price will be 54, and it will be available this month. So stay tuned. If you like this kind of design, you can have it this month. All right, next move on to our very first vertical mini tower, the Tower 100s. If you are a diehard Thermotech fan, you must know that a couple years ago, we have a very successful model called the Tower 900s. That was the model that designed for the DIY liquid cooling systems. Uh, when that model hit the market, a lot of models told us that that was an excellent design because it has a huge internal space. They, ha they can design their own DIY liquid systems without any limitations. And also, their other customers say that, oh, we don't really have that much space in my room. Can you just, can Thermotech have something that is small, that is kind of 
uh, another kind of design about the Tower 900. So here we go. This is the Tower 100 for you to place on your desk. As you can see right here, the overall size is very small. The height of this case is about 46 centimeters, and the Y is only about 26 centimeters. So if you place this case on your desk, it's, it's a very good option for you. OK, so for this case, it, it is well designed for the AIO cooling only. So you can do the DIY liquid cooling in this case. Obviously, it's because of its internal space. And there's something, there's some f interesting features I want to introduce you. Like the fan filters at top is very easy to take it out like this. You just have to push it. And you can take the big fan filters out like this. And it comes with a total of three tempered glasses at the front and at the left and right to let you show your components and it's very easy to remove. Let me show you how to do it, okay? Well, let me show you in the snow version. So all you gotta do is to re you remove the top panel of the Tower 100s, and you just have to push the glass up and take it out like this. So it's kind of very easy. You don't really need any tools to do it. And it's same at the left side. You just have to push up and take it out, yeah. And for this case, it support one 20 millimeter AIO at top right here, as you can see right here. And it can support one 20 millimeter fans at top. Let me show you right here. Okay, and also on the top of the part cover, it can support two different size of the fence, 140, 120 right here. And for this kind of mini towers, you might curious that, oh, how about the graphic car? Because the internal size is kind of small. How about the graphic car? Is there, do we have to choose a smaller one or what? But actually, it can support the standard one or the high-end graphic car with the RGB lining, obviously. Let me see another one. Yep like this. And also for the power supply, we want customers to stay with the standard size of the power supply, the ATX power supply. So you don't really need to buy the small version power supply for this case. You can hold up to the ATX power supply. And the ventilations, let me introduce you about the ventilations. This kind of Dual chamber design, at the bottom of this case, it's designed for the power supply. And at top of the case right here, it's for all the components. And we have a lot of holes right down here, and at the right side, like here. So you don't really need to worry about the ventilation because we have considered about it. It has a lot of holes right here, and also on the bottoms. Yeah. So. For the price, for the black one is 79, and for the snow one is 89. And it will be available on the market around the end of September. Oh, and let me show you the I.O. I.O. port. So it's kind of similar with the previous model HT 200s. It comes with two USB 3.0 and one Type C. Since a lot of customers ask us that, oh, they really need Type-C for the gaming case. And if you're concentrated about the introduce, introductions, we have a lot of case that comes with Type-C for the second half of 2020. So we will keep doing this because we need, we care about all the feedback from the customers. Yeah, and that's pretty much everything about the case for today. So. I know there are a lot of questions on yeah, Facebook on, and on, YouTube, on, right? I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, I'm waiting okay. for you, actually. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Here. Oh, first things, uh, good news. Everyone loves the, the tower. Oh, yeah? yeah? Yeah, everyone says it's very cute. Yes, it is uh, very it cute. It is very cute. Okay. Uh, questions here? 
Uh, can the tower only support the uh, ITX motherboard or any other form factor? It can support motherboard? only ITX motherboard. Yeah. Okay. So cable management for the tower, uh, one hundred is only on the top or? Uh, at the back side of the back case. Side. Let me show oh, you. Okay. It's, you don't really need to worry about the cable management because personally, I hate to do the manual cable management. I can. I, yeah. Uh, so yeah, yeah. I have to assure that our uh, teams to design the case with a lot of cable management space like this. As you can see, it's kind of like one and a half inches right here. Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of very easy. You don't really need to worry about the cable management. All right. Yeah. And uh, so, there's any button for the RGB control? No. No. Just, uh, no, not for this one. Yeah. Okay. All right. And uh, move on to to the back to the HT two hundred. Yeah. Okay, so cable management, questions from the comments. Okay. Only on this side, right? Yes, that's the where we recommend you to do all the ma cable management. But I know it's kind of tricky because... Yes, yeah. that's, that's the question. Yeah, because um, it looks like... Um, you know, it's not, it's not my personal judgment. Just uh, says uh, this is a comment says, oh, for this size uh, coverage management. Yeah, it's kind of a little bit. It's kind of difficult. You have mm. to pay some you got passions. Patience. Yeah, you have you to. You have to have some passions on the cable management for this one. Yeah. All right. Because of its design, if you don't really, if you really hate to do the cable management, of course you can buy our like divider 300s over there. It has the yeah. steel to cover it off. Yeah. So if you want, you like the shape, like the design for the HT the series, yeah. uh, the, no matter if it's uh, 600 or 200, yeah. you got passion, you got, yeah. um, you know, put a lot of or effort uh, about the cable management. Or you can just ask your friends to help you to do it. Okay, yeah. just pay. Well, uh, it can be free. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, oh, okay, once again, uh, how much for this one? Uh, the uh, black and white, two? 139 for the black one and 149 for the snow version. So the white one is uh, a little bit, $10. Yeah, $10 expensive. Okay, yeah. okay. And uh, another question about this, uh, the multiple support and the graphic card support for the HT200. Uh, the the car that's you know the size of a car. Well, it can support the standard graphic car. There's no any issues. Yeah, as you can see, there still have a l plenty of space at the front right here. So it's kind of it can fit most of the graphic car right now. Yeah, absolutely. And the motherboard is uh, oh micro ADX. Micro ADX yeah. and ITX, right? Yes. All right. Okay, uh, I think uh, that's uh, pretty much we have right now because uh, there is so many comments. Uh, most of them is very positive. Uh, still got some questions. If you get questions, you can leave it in the comment area, and uh, our colleagues will get back to yeah, you. ASAP. I will get back to you personally after the live stream. Yeah. Okay, you have to log into your personal account, right? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's uh, back, go back to Catherine. Thank you so much, Irving. And Jens, please stay with me and please be my model and sure. hold this for me. My honor. Yeah, all right. Giveaway time. Woohoo! Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. All right, it looks like we are the only two who are quite excited about this. Okay, so I just take it home, right? <laughs> no, you no. can't. <laughs> all right, so right now we're gonna give away the Pure A12 LED Blue. All right. You it's sound a brand new model. You sound so much like a Siri. <laughs> all right. So here are the rules. First of all, you have to subscribe to our channel. Uh, you can subscribe to Thermotech Global YouTube channel, or you can uh, search uh, TT Yao Yue Dian Jing. So both are, both of this are okay. And then. You have to leave a like, like us. Don't hate us, like us. Yeah. Right. And also uh, follow us on the Facebook page. 
you can find us uh, at uh, Thermotech Technology or TT Yaoyue Keji Taiwan. Then you can find us. All right, so this is it's just the first step. And second, you have to comment uh, and answer. Yes. If you consistently comments, if you leave so much, too many comments, it will not be acceptable. All right? And also, the winner will be announced uh, every day during our live stream broadcast. All right, so here are the rules. Only three rules. Not so hard, right? Yeah, it's kind of easy. I hope the question is not so hard either. Of course. All right, if you know. It's about a case, right? Yes, of yeah. course. I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> All right, so our question is, da -da, what kind of motherboard does the Tower 100 support? Well, it's, it's kind of easy if they like paid attention earlier. I yeah. hope they really did pay attention. Yeah, I'm sure. All right, so here are your choices. A, Mini ITX. B, EATX. C, ATX. D, Micro ATX. Do you know the answer of my question? Yeah. It's A, right? <gasps> it's A, it's A. <laughs> Is that okay? We can directly yeah, sure. see okay. the answer is okay. Now it looks like everyone knows the answer of my question. So now it's your chance, your opportunity to win the pure A12 <laughs> LED blue version. And if you don't like James, what are you gonna do? You still have to leave your answer in the comment section, okay? <laughs> All right, so what if, what if there is someone would like to ask you out for dinner? Well, I got a girlfriend, so I got to call her first. Yeah. <laughs> you have she, to. She, she's watching right now. You have to get her approval first. Yes. So what if she say yes? And I will say no. Why? That's a tricky question. Yeah. Yeah. Girlfriend I'm, I'm, always asks this kind of question. Yeah, that's why I'm asking you. <laughs> why? Smart. Well, why you say no? Because I got girlfriend. And? I want to save my time and hang out with my girlfriend only. Yeah. Uh, okay. Anyway, the answer is A. <laughs> yeah, A. <laughs> I'm going to stop our conversation right here. I hope we have, I guess, one more minute for them to uh, leave the comment. Okay, grab your chance. Only less than one minute left to win the pure A12 LED blue version. So if they got a chance, if they choose you, not our price. Well, it's okay. It you can choose. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, like my Facebook name, I will show right here. Okay, <laughs> so if you got any questions, please call the number down below right here. Yes. It's uh, James' personal phone number. Yeah. No, actually, it's your girlfriend's phone number. Yeah. My girlfriend's number <laughs> right here. <laughs> All right, time's up. All right, and thank you so much, Jess, for thank your you. presentation. Thank you. Bye. Don't forget to drink some water. Okay, And bye. now it's time for commercial. We will be right back. Do you have to video call in for a business meeting at 3, but then have to be in a League of Legends tournament at 4? then you need a gaming chair that doesn't look like a gaming chair. And boy, do we have the chair for you. Hi there, I'm Sarah from Thermaltake Australia and this is the Thermaltake Cyberchair E500. Sophisticated style and ergonomic comfort for work and for play. The Cyberchair is an ergonomic chair utilizing high tension permeable mesh cushioning. This mesh is elastic, soft to touch and breathable, providing comfort and style. It has a sturdy aluminium frame as well as stable feet made of aluminium alloy. Its wheels are scratch resistant, making this chair suitable for both soft and hard floors. The Cyberchair goes above and beyond in terms of adjustability. 
Using the easy to control levers, you can adjust everything from seat height to tilt, seat depth and your armrests, allowing you to move both rests up and down as well as any angle to ensure your armrests sit at the optimal place for you. <laughs> your backrest provides extensive back angle support, ranging from 90 degrees all the way to 117 degrees. You can also adjust your headrest, ensuring you have optimal neck support also. With a maximum load of 150 kilograms and a max height of around 127 centimeters, this chair has options to fit each and every user. <laughs> yeah. Coming with both specifically designed ergonomic lumbar and waist support, the Cyberchair has your body's comfort covered. On top of this, Installation is surprisingly easy with only four easy steps and it took us less than 10 minutes to put it all together. So if your standard office chair is causing you more harm than good, but a gaming chair just isn't the look you want, then the cyber chair is your perfect solution. Combining a sophisticated look and the ergonomic comfort of a gaming chair, your back will thank you. And you look good too. Yes, yeah, sweet, so I'll send you that email in a bit. What are you doing? Run, 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 run. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, remember to leave us a like and comment any thoughts or questions you may have in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and ding the bell to be notified each and every time we upload. And while you're still here, check out one of these awesome thermal tape videos floating in the air above me. We'll see you in the next one. Do you want to downsize from a big, bulky, full tower case? Or maybe you want a system dedicated to a VR setup, or to be part of your entertainment center. Well then, it sounds like you need a sleek, stylish micro case, and we have the perfect case for you. Hi there, I'm Sarah from Thermaltake Australia, and this is the gorgeous, compact S100 micro tower case. Constructed with modern steel, the S100 is the pinnacle of sophisticated elegance when it comes to micro case design. The case is 411 millimeters high, 220 millimeters wide, and 441 millimeters deep. Due to its compact size, this is an incredibly versatile case, able to fit in all sorts of setups, even if they're cramped. Coming in both a sleek black and snowy white edition, this case can effortlessly look good anywhere, whether it's in a professional office space or even in the entertainment center in your living room. There is one four millimeter thick tempered glass hinge door located on the left side of the case. This type of glass is more durable and scratch resistant than standard acrylic and gives you a stunning view of all your components. The case comes with a single pre-installed 120 millimeter standard rear fan. Due to its micro size, this case only supports up to an MATX board, but that doesn't mean you have to skip out on hardware. This case is incredibly easy to run all sorts of different configurations inside, whether you want to build with a fancy AIO or just run your standard stock air cooler. You can run a CPU cooler with a max height of 165 millimeters and a graphics card of up to 313 millimeters in length. Additionally, you can also mount up to two 140 millimeter fans and even one 200 millimeter fan. I was about to be late, but we are back! All right, so right now with me, Sean? Yeah, Sean. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. All right, uh -huh. so should we start about our power supply? Yeah, power supply. Yes. <laughs> okay. What? Okay. I'm sorry, you guys. Yeah. It's not rehearsal, okay? I know, I know. It's really live. Okay, live. Yeah, Okay. it's live so. stream broadcast. Okay. So what should we do? Should we do it again? Okay, so uh, I know James just introduced <laughs> the chase is very good and I uh, do you think uh, that's it? No, mm. we have more new products coming up for our oh. power supply. Okay, yeah. sure. Yeah, so uh, before I get started, I just want to remind all of you that uh, do not hesitate to ask questions in the comment sections. And um, we have a strong and informative uh, teams out there to answer 
your question and mm. assist you. So please ask questions, whatever you have. Yeah. Really? Okay. Any questions? Any questions. OK. Leave a comment. So first of all, what do we have? OK, so this one uh, right here is our, our top power TF1, 80 plus titanium, fully modular power supply. And it comes with three models. Uh, only one model, 1,550 uh, watts. And this one, uh, we got, uh, as you can see right here, the color box is kind of different than uh, what we used to have. And uh, the, uh, since, uh, this power supply is built for overclocking, and this is the first ever uh, power supply that we built for overclockers. So overclockers, uh, right here, this is your gift, and this is the one that you should buy this year and next year. Yeah, so since it's built for overclocking, there must have some like important features. So I'm going to introduce the five important features of this power supply to you right now. And the first one is the 5 volt uh, SATA protection pr uh, to protect your hard drive. And the second one is the, um, there's a red button called the turbo fan right here. So the turbo fan right here is for you to cool down your power supply really fast. So uh, when you uh, turn on the fan, and you can see hear the noise of the fan. This, uh, this means uh, the fan is going uh, full speed. So when you are doing overclocking, uh, don't worry about the heat. Uh, you can turn on this one to cool down your power supply. And the third one is the inrush current uh, under uh, 50 ampere to protect your power supply. Because uh, when you are overclocking and uh, in the beginning of the, in the power supply, uh, there will be a really big uh, current drawn uh, from the power supply. And uh, this is for you to protect your power supply from damage and uh, uh, like destroyed. And the fourth one is that uh, there's a accessory that we call the jumper to help you uh, doing overclocking. Uh, it's right here. Do you see over here? Yeah, so this one is a jumper. So usually when people are overclocking, they will have more than one power supplies. And um, this, uh, if you want to use this power supply individually, uh, you can use this jumper, then you don't have to uh, use this power uh, supply connect to the motherboard. Yeah, so this last one is the uh, transient response. 12 volt under 1%, 5 volt under 3%, and 3.3 uh, volt under 5%. And this one is also helps you to, uh, when you are doing overclocking, uh, uh, overclocking, it will keep everything stable and also like level up the performance for overclocking. Yeah. So um, uh, besides the five important features for overclocking, uh, I, have, I also have to mention the, uh, the other features that we, we usually have for our high-end products. The first one is here, the low ripple noise, under 30 um, millivolt is for you to uh, protect your power supply as well. And uh, it's 100% Japanese capacitor, and also uh, there's um, a 10 years warranty. And for the av availability for this power supply, is around, I think it's Q4 this year, so be sure to keep in touch with us. Yes, and the final one is the MSRP. I think that's the point that everybody cares about. So the MSRP for our top power TF1, 1,550, uh, 550 watts is uh, $369, yeah. Okay, so you can see over here, here how, uh, has the, the name of the power supply and also the, um, some details uh, of this one. So um, I think that's it about for our TF1. Mm. Okay. Excellent introduction. And maybe, can we reveal this? Maybe you might win one of these there. Oh yeah, that's a good idea, I think. <laughs> that's a good idea. So here, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, here, this yeah, one. Yeah, this one. Okay. 
Okay, so this one uh, is our another brand new product it's called Puff Power PF1 uh, 80 plus plan, uh, platinum series uh, power supply. And this one comes with three models 650 watts, 750 watts, and 850 watts. And uh, as you can see, it has a, a similar uh, color box as the TF1. This is a new design, uh, really attractive. Uh, so you can easily to find on the retailer or online. So yeah, besides the uh, the three important factors, the load voltage regulation under two percent deviation and under three uh, mini volts uh, ripple noise, and uh, besides these features, we have two important features coming up with this power supply only. Yeah. So the first one is the compact size, and the other one is the new board technology. I'll uh, introduce them uh, separately. Yeah, so for the compact size, as you can see over here, it compared to the top one TF1, it's really small, right? Because the size uh, is, uh, the size of the power supply is really small uh, for the height. For the height over here is only six um, um, millimeters and for the width is only 100 uh, 50 and for the and the most important part is here for the depth is only 140 so this is much smaller than the normal power uh, 80x standard power supply on the market and this is one uh, this one also highlights our power supply because it's smaller and smaller means uh, when you put in put it in the power uh, in the case for a build it will save more space and helps you to do uh, cable management yeah so that's one very important for our PF1. Okay, the other one is the new board technology. What does that mean? Uh, you guys can check it out here. Okay, so we take out the outside box that so you can see clearly inside of the power supply. Uh, new board technology means a single SMD design. So which means all the components and the black acid chips over here, as you can see over here, all the IC chips are only set on this side. On this side means the other side is really clean. It's totally different to uh, the, the, uh, the other models we have, like the TF1 or GF1. Yeah, it's really clean. There's no IC chips on the back. So this means that when this power supply is running, uh, generating the heat, the heat will only be accumulated on this side. Not on, uh, no heat will accumulate on this side. So uh, when the fan uh, takes the air, <coughs> cool air outside to cool down, it can cover the whole areas to make sure this power supply uh, can has a, a low temperatures and increase the overall performance. Yeah, okay, that's it. Okay, so uh, last is power supply. Uh, people are care, uh, care about the price and the, the availability. So the price for uh, our 650, uh, let me check here. Uh, it's a reasonable price, right? Yeah, it's really, oh yeah. Since, um, oh, I, uh, I want to introduce something uh, real quick. Uh, since, uh, no, uh, it's, it's a plantman, uh, plantman power supply, but mm. it comes at a really cheap price. Oh. So everybody, I mean, most of the uh, people doing their own PC build, uh, mm. this one is kind of affordable, I think. Mm. So oh. for the 650, it's 119. Uh, for the 750, it's 129. And for 850, it's 139. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's the MSRP for this power supply. Mm. And this one will be available, I think, in July 2020. July, so it's next month. Yeah, next month. Cool. Yeah, so be sure to check out your local re uh, resellers, check out your uh, online stores to find this power supply. Don't miss it. Yeah, okay. And here, our next part, it's with ARGB? Yeah, ARGB. ARGB. Cool. Yeah, so this one called the Top Power GF2 ARGB 80 Plus Gold uh, Certified Power Supply. And it also comes with three models, 650, uh, I think it's over here, yeah, uh, 750, and 850. 
Yeah, so the special of this power supply, I think uh, you guys can see it very clear because it comes with RGB uh, so far. And this is the only, one, uh, the only RGB power supply that we bring up uh, this year. So, so it's kind of unique and, and separated uh, from the others. Yeah, so talking about the RGB, yeah, the fan is, okay, thank you, thank okay. you so much. Okay, so the fans right here on the top is our wind dual fan, and it's 16.8 uh, million colors. And how to play around this RGB? It's very easy. There are two uh, options you can choose from. The first one is that we have two uh, physical bottoms over here. Uh, this one is the color, and this one is for playing mode. So let us show them. Uh, let's change the colors. Oh, sorry. Let's play along uh, the mode first. See? The fence color and the mode is changing. Okay, let's play the, uh, the color right here. Oh, sorry. Let's try the other one. Which one? This one. Okay, let's change the mode. I prefer the colorful one. You prefer the mm. colorful one, okay. Cool. Yeah, so it's kind of, okay, see the colors changing. That's yellow, green. I think this is blue. A light blue, I think. <laughs> you think it's blue? <laughs> I think it's blue. <laughs> Are you okay? This, oh, yeah, this one is blue. <laughs> yeah, this one's blue. Yeah, that's purple, white, and then red, yellow. Okay. So, besides uh, we can control the RGB uh, through the physical bottoms, we can also uh, uh, play around the RGB through the uh, our RGB. Uh, no, it's not ours. Uh, through the RGB multiple software from ASUS, MSI, Gigabyte, and ASRock. So what you need to do is connect this power, uh, put this power supply in your build and connect it to the motherboard you have. Mm -hmm. And then you can play around the colors through their multiple software. Mm -hmm. OK. So after we're talking about the RGB, uh, yes. I'm going to talk about the other important features cool. over here. So. Uh, under 30 uh, mini volts, uh, low ripple noise, and fully modular, 100% Japanese capacitor, and uh, load voltage regulation under 2% deviation. So all these uh, features are uh, to protect the power supply and make sure the power supply can, uh, its stability can be really stable. Yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much about this one. Let's go to the next one. Oh, this one is cute. Yeah, this one is uh, our SFX power supply. So uh, if you are uh, following uh, Thermontech for a while, you might uh, see our tough bar uh, SFX power supply before. But I have to tell you that this one is really dif is different than before, uh, the, than the previous one, because um, we add two more features in this power supply. The first one, is under uh, 30 mini volt of uh, low ripple noise, and the other one is the is the uh, load uh, load voltage regulation under two percent. Yeah, so these two will help. Uh, we kind of upgrade this one to another level. So, uh, so this if you are a mother or you are new to the uh, PC building, this one might be your choice, and also. Uh, another feature is that uh, we used to have uh, 80 uh, centimeters, no, a, uh, 80 millimeters fan, and this one we upgraded. Uh, now it's 90 millimeters fan, so it will take more cool air to cool down the whole area. Okay, so this one's really cute. Okay, uh, can we go back to that one? Okay, sure. Yeah, so 
I forgot to uh, tell you guys about the MSRP availability. So uh, let me check. You just do whatever you want, okay? Okay. <laughs> and also, so I would like to remind all the viewers the price is in USD dollars. It's not uh, that we only accept USD dollars, but we prefer USD dollars. Yeah. Um, no. I didn't, I should not put it this way. You can pay in all kinds of currencies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So we are here talking about uh, the price. So for the 650 watts, yeah, the MSRP is 129. Uh, 750 watts is 139. And the last one for the 850 is 149. Yeah. All right. Okay, so it will be available around, I think, September and October this year. So okay, cool. if you are pretty in, soon. yeah, pretty soon. Yeah, so if you are an RGB fan, you might want to follow up this one. Mm, yeah. So I can just uh, customize all the lightings. Yeah, sure. Even with power supply. Yes. Okay. So some people might think uh, R RGB with power supply doesn't matter because you mm. you're gonna put it in the PC case. You can and you cannot see it anyway. Oh, but good question. But that's um, that's like uh, 50 50 because uh, some uh, case uh, it has a power cover open window. Mm. So if you use uh, this power supply. It has two side uh, RGB side panel, so whatever you put in the in that kind of power supply, uh, in that kind of case, you can see the power supply. Mm. Yeah, so you can see the uh, the side over here. It might be a more attractive, right? Yeah, attractive. Two side RGB side panel here, and also the other side. Oh. Okay, so it's really special, I think. Mm. Yeah. Good reason. Okay, let's go back to this one. Okay, so the price uh, for the um, top part SFX. Okay, it comes with three models, uh, 450, 550, and 650. And for the 450, it's $89. Uh, 550 is $99. And for the highest one, uh, S SFX, is $119. Yeah, and it will be available around uh, September, September. Uh, and October this year as well. Mm, yeah. Also pretty soon. Yeah. Oh, so there's another thing I want to talk about, about mm. our SFX. Uh, oh. Do you see uh, this one over here? It's a ITX to ATX adapter bracket. So you can use this power supply in uh, like a mid tower chassis. So when you are building your own PC, you have more options. Uh, options. Mm. No worry about the size of the power supply. Yeah, because oh, we have this uh, adapter. That's very thoughtful. Yeah. Okay. And okay. Our next one. Yeah, this one uh, is our uh, power supply called S uh, Smart BM2, and it's 80 plus brown certified power supply, and it's uh, semi modular. Five years warranty and uh, flat cables with a uh, uh, semi-modular design and the fan of the power supply is our rifle bearing fan over here rifle bearing head fan and the cable is flat cables and five years warranty okay so this one comes with uh, four different watts the 450 550 and 650 over here and 750 over here and it will be oh sorry here all the details <laughs> yeah. okay all the details yeah yeah okay so the price for the 450 is 59 and for uh, 550 it is 64 and for the 650 is 69 and the last one for the 750 is 79 dollars which is uh, relatively cheap, uh, cheap price uh, at this level of power supply. So I think uh, if you are a beginner to PC building, you don't want to like, you are not sure what kind of build and components you want mm. to put in your chassis, then this one might uh, be a good option because it comes with uh, price friendly. And uh, I think it's uh, good for your overall 
PC build mm. if you have limited budget. Yeah, I yeah. would say it's a price you won't get blamed by your girlfriend, right? Uh, <laughs> how do you know if I have a girlfriend? <laughs> you won't yeah. get blamed by your girlfriend and your wife, and you can enjoy your PC DIY. Yeah, PC DIY. Yeah. So uh, I'll stop right here. Mm -hmm. I mean, but it's not over because I want to go back, uh, go uh, go over everything to oh, okay. recap uh, okay. what power supply we have so far, and then we'll introduce the software. Okay, yeah, cool. Last but not least, mm. yeah, we're gonna introduce it. So right here, follow us. We are going back to the first one, our top power PF1, uh, TF1, 1550 watts, 80 plus titanium, fully modular power supply. And this one, you have to remember, this one is built for overclockers. So overclockers, yeah, right here, this one is for you. Look at this one. Yeah. Uh, okay. Next one, top power PF1. It comes with three uh, watts, 650, 750, and 850. And this one is special for its compact size and also the new board technology, uh, single SMD design, so that uh, the heat will not uh, accumulate it on the other side. Mm. It won't accumulate on only one side. So it helps the overall uh, temperature uh, keep low. Mm. Yeah, so this one right here. OK, so RGB fans right here. This one is our top power GF2, uh, 80 plus gold, ARGB power supply. Comes with three uh, watts as well. So this one is special for its double side RGB panel. So no matter how you put in your PC chassis, uh, if uh, you can see the RGB lights throughout mm. the PC chassis. Yeah. Okay. Huh? And you can you have two ways to control and play around the RGB. The first one is the physical buttons, two physical buttons for colors and modes right here. And the other way is through uh, RGB motherboard software from ASUS, MSI, Gigabyte, and ASRock. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's put it back. Okay. This one is the our smallest power supply SFX, and this one uh, is an upgraded one from the previous version. And so the fan, it used to be uh, 80 uh, millimeter, but now it's 90 millimeter. And we also add uh, two important features, uh, under 3%, uh, under 30 millivolts, uh, low ripple noise, and low voltage regulation, under 2% deviation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also the adapter bracket, mm -hmm. from so you can use it to from ATX to uh, ITX to ATX. Mm. Okay. Okay, this one is the most budget friendly power supply for uh, Thermotech this year, our Smart BM2, and it's 80 plus per ounce certified power supply. Comes with four uh, watts, five years warranties, and um, uh, rifle bearing fans to cool down your power supply and flat cables and it's uh, semi-modular, yeah. Okay, so that's it for our power supply and then I'm going to introduce you and software. Okay, uh, right here. Okay, so this one is our SP, uh, Smart Power Management uh, 2.0. Why do we call it 2.0? Because we uh, redesigned it, uh, the new uh, interface to make it more user friendly. So as uh, as you can see over here, this is the uh, the home page of the SPM, and you can log in uh, with your email and then password. But uh, no worries, if you don't have an account and and don't have uh, our oh, so yeah, uh, I have to mention one important features first. Uh, this one is for our Thermotech digital power supply. So the digital power supply covers like uh, the top part IRGB, uh, Gold series, and Titanium series. And it's also compatible to uh, Thermotech DPSG power supply as well. OK, so digital power supplies only available for this uh, platform. So if you don't have an account, no worries. You can try the gas mode over here. Then you can get inside, uh, browse some good features, and uh, try it, then I think you might, after you try this mode, I think you might want to get one of our digital power supply. Okay, so right here. 
So we can browse, uh, go to the dashboard for us overview. So you can see the total hours that your power supply has been running and the average efficiency over here that your power supply has been uh, performance. Yeah, average daily efficiency. Okay, so there are some important information that you can browse over here. Let's go to PSU. Oh, sorry. Okay. So the power supply over here, you can choose. Uh, maybe you have more than one PC, more than one power, digital power mm -hmm. supply. Then you can choose uh, what you want to see. You can see the average monthly electricity consumption of this power supply. OK, let's go to power management. Power management over here is that if you have internet, you can uh, uh, go uh, come, come to the SPM power management platform here and then schedule to turn off your PC. And you can also reboot and shut it down right away, uh, which means you can control your PC remotely. Mm. You don't have to, uh, you don't ne necessarily have to be right behind your uh, PC. Okay. In the notification section, over here. So this, uh, in this section, you can see the overall performance, uh, like events, for uh, of your power supply. You can see the top right corner over here. The green color means no more, and the yellow color, uh, uh, the red color means of no more. So mm -hmm. if there's anything of no more events happens, you can see over here. So if I set the number to be April 15th and the end day to be May 1st and plus search. Oh. Yeah, you can see uh, it's, it's all, all, no more, uh, all no more status from uh, May 1st to the end of April. But if you go down uh, here, you might oh. some some red. Uh, this shows up no more. And it says, for instance, speed detected up no more. Mm. So you can go back to your uh, PC to check if there's uh, anything Something happens wrong. during that time. Mm. Yeah, OK. So energy saving. So this part is helps you to raise, uh, like, uh, to save some trees. And uh, remember that you don't have eco -friendly. to. Eco-friendly. Yeah, eco-friendly. <laughs> you maybe sometimes you have to turn off your computer to save some energy and power. <laughs> yeah, that's the Did idea. Did you really do that? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. It depends. It really depends. Yeah. Okay. So, like you can see, you have reduced like uh, point eighty six uh, CO CO two. Yeah. yeah, and it's equals to like uh, point thirty three. Three trees. Yes, helps you to <laughs> like, like reminds you turn to turn off your computer. Hey. Yeah. Anyway, we still do the efforts, right? Yeah. Try to do the eco-friendly. OK. Yeah, so there are some important information over here. Mm. OK. OK. All right. Excellent workshop. But my partner is coming. Are you coming? Yeah, okay. <laughs> here. OK, OK. Me okay. again. Me again. Uh, I got questions here. Time. Yeah. Oh, first thing, uh, there's someone's uh, little comments in Sean's queue. Oh. Chance Q. Yeah. Who? Who uh, did? I don't know. Okay, don't okay, know. thank you. Thank uh, you guys. We will find out later. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. okay first thing. Uh, start from the TF1. Yes. The questions here. Okay. Uh, it's a single rail or multi rail? Single rail. Uh, it's a single rail. Yeah, okay. Single rail. So because this is a question on that, uh, so it's a single rail, right? Yeah, single rail. Okay. Another question is very interesting. Uh, it, it's also it's about TF1. TF1. Okay. Okay. The voltage is a thousand and five hundred and fifteen watt, right? Yes. Uh, any reason you guys do the 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 the, the, the number with the, the the wattage here? Is it sometimes it should be a thousand and five hundred or uh -huh. thousand and six hundred? So why there is a thousand and fifteen hundred and fifty? Yeah. Because uh, we want to provide you uh, extra watts for you to do overclocking. That's the main point I mentioned in the very beginning okay. when I was introducing okay. the power supply. So yeah. uh, based on what I heard, uh, it's a original idea. Uh, your, you guys is a goal. Uh -huh. There's a setting is a, a 1500 watt, right? Yeah. 
and uh, then your RD team is uh, found that they can give you more. Because our RD team, team is awesome. All right, okay, okay, okay. that's a good yeah. nice thing. Come here, okay. okay. Okay, so that's the reason because uh, the you, uh, original goal to set up is uh, uh, 1500 watt. Yeah. And uh, then fine, you can give it more yeah. because this is uh, doing the overclocking, so yeah, you give it extra 50 watt, right? Yeah. Okay. Another question is, uh, will be easier for the SFX uh, X? Yes. Uh, the warranty? How many warranty. years for the warranty as a FX one? Uh, you can see over here is seven years warranty. And okay, uh, so the all the the PAL series has got different uh, warranty period, right? Yeah. So the for the first three, the GF two, ARGB, PF one, and then TF one, these three are all ten years warranty. Okay, so for this, this one, this one, this one, yeah. all three. Yeah, all three. Ten years. Ten years. Okay, and uh, for seven F years. SFA one. Uh, seven years warranty. Seven year, and the last one is five years. Okay, so smart BM two is a five year. Yeah, five. So years. ten years, seven, yes. and uh, five, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Another question is about bearing, yeah. fan bearing. Fan bearing. Okay. Uh, all the power supply, the fan inside is using the hydraulic bearing, right? Or uh, not all of them. So, uh, for this one, uh, this one is spring GF dual fan. GF two. Uh, GF two ARGB is spring dual fan and it's 16.8 uh, million colors. So that's why I mentioned uh, you can play around the RGB okay. with this one. And this one is the uh, for our TF1. It's hydraulic bearing fan. Oh, this is hydraulic. Uh, oh, no, uh, it's for fuel dynamic bearing fan. Okay, so yeah. that's a dif different one. Yeah, and this one is the, the one you just mentioned. PF1. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah the PF1, yes. It's a uh, hydraulic bearing fan. Okay, this is hydraulic bearing. Yeah. Okay. So how about BM2? If someone's asking comments here, uh, BM2 has a rifle bearing. Yeah, yeah rifle bearing fan. Okay. Yeah. This definitely your fans. Oh no, <laughs> uh, the power supplies fans. Yeah, here. Power supplies he here. knows uh, about the bearing. Yeah. Okay. Last questions here. Okay. That's about the SPM. Yes. Uh, uh, as I remember, we got a mobile phone app right oh yeah we got a mobile phone and we have actually we have a few mobile apps that we call dbsg mobile apps uh, that you can use it on your phone i mean any phones uh to is it sorry sorry is it a cover ios and android right yes yes, they, yes. okay it covers is this everything. free yeah free it's free. free yeah okay okay yeah so you can use that app to control uh to go inside here uh, to control your digital power supply. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, this uh, system uh, is for thermotech digital power supplies. Yeah. Mm, so I can check out the old information uh, about the yeah. power supplies, uh, real yes. time. Yeah, real time. Yeah, real time. Uh, through the mobile phone. App yeah. And also on the desktop, right? Yeah, as well. And uh, also can change the, the, the color of uh, RGB fan. Yes, you can do that. Through the mobile app, right? Yeah. Okay, it's free, and uh, now you can download. If it want, if you buy the um, our DPSG or IRGB series digital power supply, yes. just like Sean just mentioned, you can go to the uh, Apple iTunes or something because I'm using Android. I don't know. Yeah, there's someone yeah. with yeah, App Store, App and Store, the, and the uh, Google, Google Play. Google I know Play Google Play because I, I use the Android phone. Yeah. Okay. Go to and find out the SPN, and they go download it. Now it's the SPN 2.0. Yeah. The all the functions uh, we just upgrade, yeah, and upgrade. it give you best. Uh, I, I think the best uh, function and uh, is the uh, easiest way to use yeah. and monitor all your um, your power supply, the bus back, the real time uh, data is there. Yes. It's very easy it's, um, and uh, it's free. Yeah, it's free. Right. And it's really user friendly because we re uh, redesigned the whole interface. Uh, it, yeah. Not only on the desktop software, also yeah. the mobile app, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 So I think uh, let me check. I think that's uh, pretty much all the the questions uh, here. Okay. Uh, Catherine, you came back. <laughs> I thought you're gonna do a quick tour, but how about just uh, give away a fantastic prize and then let's call it all for today. Okay. No problem. <laughs> uh, uh, let us, uh, let me give my prize okay. here. Ta-da! 
Uh, yeah. How do you one. know you, you have to wanna hold give, this? <laughs> Want to give for you guys? Yeah, so we're going to give away our top part uh, PF1 uh, fully modular power supply, 80 plus, uh, 850 watts. And you say it's perfect for? Uh, perfect for everyone. <laughs> Great answer. Yeah. I was thinking about you say the overclockers. Oh, uh, uh, PF1 right, is now for overclockers. That's oh. TF1. Oh. Yeah, this one is uh, famous for its compact size and mm. the new board technology. All yeah. right, so we're going to give away this. And this is so far our last gift for today. today. Only yeah. today. Tomorrow, of course, we have more. But today, this is your last chance. And here are the following rules. First of all, you have to subscribe to our channels. It's either a Thermotech Global YouTube channel or you can find us at TT Yao Yue Dian Jing in Mandarin version. Yes. Yeah. And also don't forget to turn on the notification and or follow us on the Facebook page. You can find us at uh, Yao Yue Ke Ji Taiwan. Yeah. Also in Mandarin version. And also second, second, secondly, you can only comment with one answer. Yeah. Consistent comments will not be acceptable. And also, uh, this event is in no way sus uh, sponsored, endorsed, or administrated by or associated with YouTube and Facebook. And the winner will be announced every day on our Facebook post. Okay. So are you ready for the question? Can I join the giveaway? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me hold this for you. Okay. Then you can go okay, leave your kidding. message. <laughs> now. You have to join me because okay. you are the only one know the answer. Am I? Of course. Okay. You just finish uh, all the introductions. Okay, I think so. I'll try. <laughs> you will try. <laughs> if you got the wrong answer, I guess someone will kill you. <laughs> uh, I hope that's not going to happen. <laughs> all right. So our question is how many RGB size panel does Tough Power GF2 ARGB has? Double. Shh. shh. A. <laughs> One. B. Two. C. Three. D. Four. And the answer is. The double. The double. The answer is A or B or C or D. Uh, could you repeat it? What? <laughs> you are not really paying attention. You just physically I'm sorry, standing I'm sorry. beside me, but mentally you are. <laughs> I, I don't know where answer. you. <laughs> okay. I forgot the number. Okay. Let me repeat our question again. If you don't know the question, you can see right here down below. Oh, yes, okay. yes, yes. Do you see that? Yeah, I think it's B. Okay. So it's. You just reveal the answer. Uh, I think we just repeat it, so maybe there are already some answers. Oh, okay. Uh, also, uh, one thing, our curator will say when the time's up, please stop uh, commenting. Okay. All right. So uh, let's just don't need. We don't need to repeat our question again, right? Because our so. question is here. Yeah, it's right here. And the answer is. Right here. The answer is not shown. <laughs> the answer, the answer is, is right here. Uh, the answer is right here. <laughs> All right, one more minute. One more minute. If you got a chance, would you like to win this? You mean win another one? This one. This I one. Mean this one. What do you think about this one? I think this one's awesome. Because uh. <laughs> you think this one's awesome? What? <laughs> Come on, give me some feelings. What do you uh, think about this one? Which one is your favorite? I personally <laughs> like this one because uh, uh, when you are uh, talking about the 80 plus Plum series power supply, it, u it usually comes with a bigger size, like the mm. TF1 and oh, the GF2. Mm. Yeah, and this one is uh, much more smaller mm. than the uh, one you're talking about, the 80 extended power supply. Oh, so you can uh, save more space to build your mm. PC to do cable management. I think for PC DIY enthusiasts, space 
it's does really matter, important. right? Yeah, it does matter. Yeah, because oh. we got a lot of comments from our social medias that they are, they are asking how to like do cable management to make mm. their build like look nicer. Why everyone hate cable management? Because you, I'm quite you know, curious about this. Yeah, because if the cable is like kind of messed up, you will mm. drive people crazy. Oh, yeah, it looks not just good like your girlfriend drive you crazy. Uh, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, he's just kidding. All right, time's up. And later on, we will find out who is going to be the winner, right? Yeah. And thank you so much, Sean. Thank, yeah, thank you. you. Thank Excellent you, work. You can leave now. <laughs> you can go. <laughs> All right. Now it's almost the end of our today's uh, tools. And thank you. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for accompanying us for the whole day and tomorrow we have more to show you we have something you don't want to miss out we have so many things to show you because Thermotech is the best so see you tomorrow tomorrow Adama ciao bye bye